Hello, everyone. Welcome to this live stream. This is the teacher's office. I am your teacher, Robin. I am just sharing the link of teacher's office to WhatsApp. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I see Palavi is here. Hello, Palavi. How are you doing today? I will be here to answer English questions and work, and I, I'm going to check homework. I'm going to do everything in this live stream. Yeah, I'm just going to get people here. Uni, hello. Welcome. Uh, teacher, you're working hard every day to teach us. I don't know how to say I thank you. Well, thank you, Palavi. Rary is pleasant. Well, it's not a class. If you guys have any English questions, let me know. This is just my office time. Let me know how I can help you to learn English. I think I'm, I'm almost done here. I'm just getting uh, there. Oh, BB, <laughs> you're gone. BB, you are gone. Oh, Riri, I'm present. CB, hello. Lavanya, Lavanya, I just had naan, the bread, for my dinner. If you have any questions, let me know. I am here to answer English questions. If you have a question, type it in the chat. I will answer your question. Avun sumna. Hello. I don't understand yesterday's homework. The euphemisms. You were supposed to. Uh, well, let's take a look at yesterday's homework. Switch account. You're supposed to guess the meaning. What do these mean? You have to take a guess. That was the homework. Uh, is that the homework? You had to guess the meaning. How many teacher, how many channels do you have? Uh, I have four main channels. About four. Uh, this is my second channel. I know there's so many channels, but uh, please choose the channel you like. If you have any English questions, let me know. I'm just uh, working in my office. I'm putting it in the WhatsApp. You know, it takes takes a little bit of work to get people here. I can change the website. It uh, it's a lot of work to uh, get people to come and watch. If you got a question, let me know. Almost done here. All right. All right. Let's focus on who is here. CBS, do you follow a diet? Yes, I do. I try to control what I eat every day. Uh, CB, I, uh, I try to watch my calorie intake. And of course, I walk 
Naki, hello. If anyone has, this is not a class. I'm just here to help with questions. Let me know. We can ask anything about, yeah, you could ask anything about English. You could ask anything about me. You could ask anything about religion. You could ask anything about politics. You could ask anything about life. You could ask. Learning says how to improve spelling. Uh, well, first of all, you should improve your punctuation. You need a question mark. You forgot the question mark. That Start with punctuation. It is easy to master punctuation. And uh, don't ignore punctuation like you did here. You forgot the question mark. And then to learn spelling, this uh, is not going to help you. You have to write some sort of daily journal or something on paper. you got to write. And this will help you to learn spelling. Oh, Lavanya gave a super sticker. Thank you, Lavanya. You're so kind. I, I didn't expect anything. Thank you, Lavanya. Oh, there's, there's your question mark. Okay, I'm happy that you remembered it. Oh, well. Come on, Layla. You got to have better questions than that to get my attention. Uh, this is just a question and answer. If you got an English question, let me know. Yeah, I'll be probably doing a three or four hour live stream. So you don't have to be here the whole, whole time, Layla. What are you doing in the office? What kind of work? I usually do editing, as you can see on the screen. I got to edit videos for Shaw English, my main channel. And this, this is a man from Iran. Yeah, BB, I just kicked him out. Every time BB comes, I'll kick him out. <clears throat> Uh, what is your area? I'm 47, and uh, I guess 47 is young and energetic, isn't it? <clears throat> How old are you, Naveed? What's the difference between who's and whose? Well, I, I made a video on that, so... So I put in Shy English Who's Who's in Google right there. Who's Who's. Let's not look at this ad. I'm going to share this link. This is the answer to Who's and Who's. And I'm going to share that with video I made uh, with Fanny Teacher. You, you, you watch that link. You'll be an expert at Who's Who's. Really, well, I don't know what the really is. So, uh, Vun Sunna, I do have a rule. If I made a video already, I don't teach that topic. I just point to the video. So you got to ask me something uh, that I never, I don't have a video for. How long have you been running this teaching online? I've been a YouTuber over 10 years. So my main channel is Shy English. If we if we go to Shy English. Let's take a look. Shy English. That's the main one. So I started this one. Uh, we could check here. So this was started. February 20th, 2013, uh, the Shaw English channel. So that's pretty much how long I've been on YouTube. Long time. Yeah, get your questions in. Is that familiar? Uh, this is Premier, Adobe Premier. I have to pay for their... The... Premiere Illustrator, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Dreamweaver, Audition. I use all of these in creating content.
How many published video on all your channels each day? Oh, every day. In 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 one week, I think I'm making about thir thirteen live streams or videos about thirteen a week. Thirteen a week. That's what you need to be a YouTuber. You got to post and post and post. Ah, learning. Good question here. Meaning of implications. Okay, let's take a look at this. Implications. So uh, learning, this is what we call a dictionary word, which means you shouldn't really ask the teacher dictionary words. The first thing you do is you go to the dictionary and you type implications. Put that full screen. And then the dictionary, I use Oxford. Oxford's great. I use it every day. And there you have implication. Let's take a look. A possible effect. Possible. We don't know yet. Or result of an action or a decision. So there was an action or a decision and there's a possible result. So that is an implication right from the dictionary. So their example sentences, they failed to consider the wider implications. So they failed to consider, they didn't think about the implications of their actions. Here's a better sentence. The development of the site will have implications for the surrounding countryside. So it will have implications. That doesn't mean good or bad. That just means that will have effects or results for the surrounding countryside. So that's step one. Check the dictionary learning. Step two, you make some example sentences. Bring them in here. I will check them. What a good deal. Try to make some sentences using implication. It just means result. Palavi, why are you so strict? I am not strict. <laughs> what are you talking about, Palavi? I have uh, four YouTube channels with six. How many, how many WhatsApp groups? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven WhatsApp groups, an Instagram account. So I'm dealing, I'm dealing every day with hundreds and hundreds of people every day. I have to talk to and help and manage hundreds of hundreds of people every day, everywhere on YouTube, Instagram and WhatsApp, all these people. And now I, I have to have rules, you know, I cannot help the world every day, you know, and everyone today, oh, let's see how many messages I got, uh, uh, 16 private messages, uh, when I, before I woke up today of people asking me for help, free help teacher. Can you check my homework free in private message? WhatsApp teacher. Uh, can I have a private Zoom call with you for free? All these people asking for help. So Palavi, every day people are trying to get my help and I, I try to help those who deserve help. So the people that deserve help are the people that keep the rules. Strict. Palavi, I do not get paid for any of this, Palavi. I have checked your homework 100 times, Pallavi, for free. Why are you complaining anything, Pallavi? Really, Pallavi. Especially you. You are very active, great, and I'm very happy you're learning English. And I check your homework every day for free. And you still, you complain. What? Really, Pallavi? Grow up. It's time. I saw a new face of a teacher that you're editing now. Are you going to post that video soon? I don't know. 
I don't know, Layla. I don't know about this guy. This guy's a little strange. He's okay. He's nice. Hi from the Philippines. Welcome. We've got any English questions. Bring up. I should learn the teaching passion from you, uh, Robin. Seriously. Well, yeah, I have uh, uni. I I care about people who have passion for learning. I do not care about everyone. So uh, you will see a lot of people talk to me. That Just because people are in my group does not mean I care about them. I have to find people with sincere and true passion to learn English, and I will help them. I will help anybody who shows passion. Not tell me. You know, everyone, if I, everyone in the group, hey, teacher, I'm a good student. No, no, no. Don't tell me. You have to show me. And once you show me and I see, oh, this is a good student, I'll help you for free. Uh, do you get a lot of religion questions on your social media? No, I don't get. Well, in WhatsApp, we cannot talk about religion. We can talk about religion on uh, YouTube. That's okay. If you if you have any religion questions now, but not in WhatsApp. Not in WhatsApp. Do you have any success stories? How many students become fluent to follow you? I've been running your channel. Well, offline, I got hundreds of success stories. I've sent hundreds of students to America, Australia, Canada. Hundreds. We got them there from level zero to writing IELTS and TOEFL. Uh, Online, you know, I'm just, I'm just, usually I'm just a part of someone's learning. So someone might be here now. I'm going to teach them a little bit and then they move on to other sources. Uh, I just do what I can. Uh, let's see, online. Uh, of course, uh, I'm very proud of uh, Palavi here and uh lavanya who's watching and layla these three students are certainly improving because they've been with me uh yeah you got to be a little more specific now Vid. oh here's a cb question you know i had a zoom call with cb today but he didn't ask any questions like this i was expecting if you could only eat three meals for the rest of your life, what would they be? Usually I already only eat three meals, the same three meals. Uh, probably bread, rice, and uh, Pringles. Robin helps Batman helping the world. You are that Robin without Batman. Well, Uni, that is a joke that I probably heard. Uni, please upgrade your humor. I've heard that too many times. That's Hello, Salome. Talavi, I think you don't know Robin well as a new teacher. I think there's no teachers help as much. <laughs> yeah, Talavi is just, I, I don't understand Talavi, you know. Talavi. <laughs> no matter how much I help for free, it's not enough, right? It's never enough. People always got to complain. Layla, where's your questions? Hi, Salome. You know every student's behavior. Uh, I try to know. Uh, Teacher, I'm not a complainer. Uh, Then why are you asking, why am I so strict? And then uh, last night on Mike's live stream, you, you told me to leave one of the worst people, one of the worst humans, BB, you defended him. And I was like, what are you doing, Palavi? He's a terrible, terrible person. (laughs) Anything is okay on uh, YouTube except bad words. And uh, uh, there's another topic about men and women that I can't talk about. But religion's okay. Okay. Talk to you later, Layla. I'll be here for a while. Okay, anyone have any questions, let me know. If you don't have any questions, you don't need to be here because this is not a lesson. This is just the teacher's office. I'm here if you have questions.
English questions. Hey, my, may if you have any English questions, let me know. This is uh, the 100. Have you seen the 100 question series? What if you woke up suddenly because your house was on fire? Which three things would you save as you ran out? Uh, I guess my computer and my phone. That's it. Just two things. I would have to grab the computer. And I'd have to grab my phone. I don't need anything else. Well, Asibi, what would you take? I'm going to flip the question on to you. How do you deal with those circumstances, compliance and maybe bullying? What do you mean exactly? Uh, on YouTube, on WhatsApp, uh, can you be more specific? In your life, in general? Nikki, hi, Robin, I have a question. What is fed up with? Okay, good question. So that is also dictionary words. So let's go fed up with. Let's just type that into Google. And the Merriam-Webster has it right up. And there you go. Fed up with idiom. And there you go. Very tired of something. So one meaning is very tired of something. Another meaning is angry about something. So I'm fed up with work. I'm fed up with work i'm fed up with school i'm fed up with studying so i'm tired of it i'm angry i'm fed up with that bad student there you go i'm fed up with i'm sick and tired of that do you get a youtube yeah i got that lavanya uh you didn't see that yet i'm gonna show it I keep it in the box because nobody cares. Oh, there you go. That's for uh, Shaw English. I got this maybe a year ago, one year ago, something like that. Back in the box. I'll give it to you, Lavanya. When I go to India, I'll bring it and give it to you. It's real gold. You'll take your money. Well, I, you know, I don't... You, it's Korea has moved to, uh, what do you call it, cashless society. So... Uh, I don't have any money in my house. It's all in the bank or. Yeah, I'm fed up with my job. Yeah, that's correct. In teaching online processes says there must be people who never get enough with things you do to help them. Yeah, every day and they complain. Yeah, bully. Yeah. Every, oh, I get. I get. Every day I get. Uh, very angry people 
I've been banned from WhatsApp before, but every day I get very angry people because uh, I, you know, I, I'm very, because I got to manage hundreds and hundreds of people. Of course, I got to be strict to manage hundreds and hundreds of people. And when people break the rules and they kick them out, oh, they send me terrible messages. They want to kill me. They want to kill my mom. They want to kill my sister. I don't even have a sister, but they want to kill her. <laughs> they want to do things to my sister and then kill her. Uh, I get those messages. Sometimes they send me uh, terrible pictures, uh, voice messages. People have uh, said very bad things to me in at least 20 different languages. <laughs> I'll get the. I'll start listening, and it's some very angry person in their language shouting at me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've. You know, it's part of the job. And you need. I do all that. To you got to understand is it's doing. I take all of that to protect you, in the group, because I don't want people to bother you. I don't want people to harass you, Uni. So I do that to protect everyone watching. If you're in the WhatsApp group, I, I happily do that. So you are not a target from these bad people. I want, I, I'm okay that they target me. That's better because I can handle it. What if, oh, see me. It, what if Hitler won the war? Well, uh, the world would be de very different if that occurred. Uh, I might be speaking German right now instead of English, and we might all. I might be having a Shaw German channel. I don't know. Thank you, thank you for the one hundred. Thanks, Nikki. Any other questions? Let me know. Complain. Well, complain. That's a dictionary word. Let's go to the dictionary. Since you, a lot of students just refuse to use the dictionary. I'm not sure why. I got to go to Oxford. Complain. To say that you are annoyed, unhappy, or not satisfied about somebody, somebody or something. So if you're if you're not happy and you say it to someone, you complain. It's a verb. You say you're not happy with something. So people complain to me every day. Like Palavi. <laughs> well, Palavi's not every day, so I have another question. The difference between close, near, nearby. I'm very confused. Well, Neki, they're all synonyms. Close. Uh, I think they mean the same thing. Let's check. To me, they mean the same thing. Uh, the chair is close to me. The chair is near me. The, the chair is nearby. Okay, so there might be a, a grammatical difference. Close. Near. Nearby, one word. So near, it says right there, near and nearby is one word, are both synonyms for close. Okay, but there are differences, so we better check. So there's three clear and important differences. The first difference is near is often used as a preposition, but nearby can never be properly used as a preposition. So what does that mean? Oh, that's not important. Second is near can mean close in time. Uh, that's important. Near, so if we're talking about distance, they mean the same thing, but we can also use near for time. So you can say, 
uh, my graduation is near. The graduation date is near, or my graduation date is close, but we cannot say nearby for time. Yeah, so this one, nearby, usually we slept at a motel nearby. Uh, it can happen after the noun or before the noun. You can say a nearby motel, uh, but you wouldn't say we slept at a motel near. We would say I, we slept at a a near hotel or a close hotel. Uh, that's just a small grammatical. Anyway, I'll summarize this. Close and near are the same. Close and near are the, exactly the same. It's nearby. They cannot talk about time. And usually nearby might be at the end of a sentence. I don't understand why some people hate you. Well, uh, because I kick them out of the group. <laughs> they want to be in the group. They like the group, but I kick them out. So they're angry. Uh, thank you, Amian. Thank you for your support. CB, do you think you have responsibility towards society as a millionaire? Well, I'm certainly not a millionaire, but I'm not a millionaire and I already feel responsible. Uh, it doesn't matter about money, CB. It doesn't matter about money because whatever, whoever you are, whatever you are, you know, however, however much money you have, you do have a responsibility to society. So I'm not a millionaire, but certainly I help a lot of people for free. Teacher, I, I didn't defend BB. I was just trying to calm that person because I thought that BB is young, maybe. I don't know. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, BB is a very bad guy. And I was shocked when you immediately defended BB in the live stream. You don't even know, Pallavi. That, that, that's, a, that's a bad per. That's worse than you, Pallavi. You are not, Pallavi, you are not a bad person. BB is a bad person. You don't defend those people. If you were a celebrity, what would you do with all the money and fame? Do you think it's easy or fun to be a celebrity? Well, I I, I avoid attention, CB, so uh, I don't think I'd ever be a celebrity. So even on my Shaw English channel, I hire other teachers to be famous, like Esther. Uh, if you go to Shaw English, Esther is the main teacher on that channel. I, I chose long ago a Esther... Do you want to be more famous than me? And then I just made Esther famous, not me. New Jersey near the New York or New Jersey close to but the same, same meaning, same meaning. New Jersey is near New York and New Jersey is close to New York. How much, and Naveed says, how much to listen, how much do you, should, let's, let's fix your sentence here. How much do I need to listen, read, write, and speak to get fluent or to have fluency? Uh, Naveed, well, first of all, you have to understand fluency. Fluency is the same as me. So if you want to speak and read and listen the same as me, well, uh, there's two, two, two things we have to consider. First, are you living in an English-speaking country? If you are living in an English-speaking country, well, naturally, you will get fluent because uh, every day you are interacting with English speakers. If you are not living in an English-speaking country and you want to be fluent, well, I would suggest... Uh, at least four or five hours a day is a good starting point to be fluent. If you're doing one hour a day, well, you're never going to be fluent. You gotta, you gotta read, write, listen. You gotta do that hours every day. Shakir and me, please. You add you what? 
you can join the WhatsApp group. Is that what you want to? You can join the WhatsApp group. Links in the description of the video. Thanks. This this man's name is Has Has Hassan, I think. Hassam. His name is Hassam. That's Lee. Hassam. All kinds of teachers. <clears throat> Robin, which one of your WhatsApps groups most active these days? Well, let's take a look. So if we look right now, what's happening? Uh, world, uh, world English voice notes. That seems the most active right now. With Layla, <laughs> Layla, you're very active there. Wow, good for you, Layla, and uh, all these people. Daily English homework, not so active. Uh, probably the yeah, world English, world English voice notes. That's excuse me, um, they're all pretty active. Oh, yeah, I heard one saying he spends 10 hours a day for one year. Well, yeah, you have to get to that point if you want to be fluent. But I would say your goal shouldn't be just fluent. Your goal, you should have a plan. Oh, do I need IELTS or TOEFL? Am I going to study in America? If your goal is just to understand a Hollywood movie, ugh, don't study that much English. Just, uh, just to understand a Hollywood movie. You should have a goal. And when you have a goal, then you can um, plan out. How many videos did you film with Lee so far? Uh, I think I filmed about four or five videos. I, I don't want to hear sorry from you, Pallavi. I want your support, Pallavi. If I say uh, kick out a person, you had a choice. You had a choice. Oh, Robin's right or Robin's wrong. You chose wrong. You chose to defend a bad guy. I have spent more than three hours per day for the last six months. Well, Navid, good for you. Uh, good. I like to hear that. So, Navid, uh, how is it working? Are you improving? Are you getting better? Let us know. Let us know if that's give the same result. Uh, if you give this, if you give advice to everyone to study three hours a day for six months. Can you hear that? Can, can you guys hear him talking? I prefer to practice by speaking. I need to work more on my reading to increase my vocabulary. I need to more. Yeah, you got to practice everything every day, Leila. A little bit of everything every day. 
a little bit every day. little bit every day no no to what oh the voice hmm How about now? Um, qu a question. How much do you spend a month to Can live? You hear on? the voice now? About six hundred dollars. Should people go straight from school to university or do something different for real life experience? Oh, good question, CB. Uh, I would suggest people go straight to university. Um. I, I think people they don't realize most most people do not get a job that is related to their university major. So that what does that mean? In most people they graduate with a major and then they find out getting a job, but usually the job is not connected to their major. That's a lot of people. So university, you just need a major, uh, and I think a lot of people think, "Oh, I have to, I have to choose the correct major for my life." Uh, you get a major if you if you want to change your studies, then go for your masters, and you can change your studies. But the uh, first four years of university, just get it done. Is my advice: get it done. Don't stop. Keep going. Uh, if you stop, life can. Create more obstacles. What exact mean fluency? You speak without difficulty. So I am fluent. I can speak English without difficulty. I can listen. I can read everything. I have. I can write. I have all the skills. I have no difficulty to do those things. Am I perfect in English? No. Do I know all the vocabulary? No. Do I understand everyone's pronunciation? No. But for me, uh, I know how to speak language. So, Navid, you are fluent in your language. All right. Bye, me. Yeah, now it works. Okay, good. Uh, Robin, you make a vocabulary improvement video in daily English homework assignments making the sentence. Uh, you should are you giving me advice because you make it's present tense you should make if you're going to give advice you got to say you should at the beginning of the English journey I thought listening is the most important but now I recognize the key of them is reading we need to balance between them but the key is reading reading, uh, reading makes you fluent Reading will make you fluent. Fluent is not about speaking, right? Fluent Fluency is in the brain. This is where fluency is. And then speaking and listening and reading and writing are the skills. But speaking, uh, so to get the brain fluent, you got to give in a lot of input. And there's only two ways for input, listening and reading. And... Uh, of course, both of them can bring in a lot of input, uh, but reading is very fast. If you have a hobby that is reading, you can get a lot of input. That will make fluency. Uh, Pallavi, if you say sorry one more time, I will ban you from this. I, I'm not, I never want to hear you say sorry, Pallavi. All I want you, stop saying sorry, Pallavi. Is your warning. Stop it. 99% of your messages are sorry. Come on. Stop saying sorry. Just do good actions. Do your homework. 
and don't cause tra- drama. How well do people with my background adjust to studying in your university? I don't know your background. You're a young guy, CB. Uh, uh, CB, go to university. If you can, go to university. Get it done. Uh, Go to the best university you can get to. Uh, Do your best. CB, you got to give me more information, CB. You got to give more information. All right, let's fix this up. Oh, we got to fix this. CB. All right, can you say something, Hassan? How are you? I can't hear. Right. Can you say something, something, Hassan? How are you? Um, yeah. Okay. We'll start again. Here, I'm just going to start from qu- a question. How much do you spend a month to live on? Hello, Sarwathi. Do you have any English question? Let me know. About six hundred dollars. Are you a frugal person? Do you send your parents? Here we go. What's your name? All right. I see what I did. I, I filmed this a few months ago, or last month, and I'm already forgetting what he said. There, this should be like that. All right. Uh, I thought CB is a girl, but he's a guy. Yeah, CB is a guy. I didn't see him because he turned off the camera during the Zoom chat today, but I heard him. He said he was a young guy. I'll say thank you for uh, Xander. You ready? Mm-hmm. Are you recording? Uh, Hassan, can you say something quickly? How long did it take you to get here? Hello. All right. That's the beginning. Cut, cut, delete. Hello. All right. 100 questions. Sam from Iran. Yes. What do you think of the color? What do you think of the 100 questions color? Should I change that color? This color, what do you think? What's a good match with blue? Dark blue? It's breaking, sir. What does breaking mean? What is it's? color dark blue orange yellow pink Layla says a bright blue would be better well the background is a blue and the interviewer is a blue Mm. bright blue this is like bright blue like that the back the background is not going to change Could be black. Mm. 
That's a good color. Green. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not the background. The background can't change. This 100 questions. The 100 questions. What is a piece of ice you always remember? Oh. Not many people give me advice. I'll have to think about that. Layla, just the red it is now? Your voice was breaking, but it's okay now. Mm. Okay. My voice was breaking. Did anyone experience my voice breaking? So, I'm, I mean, I got to figure out if it's my problem or if it's your problem. I'm assuming it's my problem, so I just want to check the other people. Did my voice break up sometimes? Maybe when I play, play this. 100 hello, questions. hello. My some voice. Questions. Sometimes some names give off us a different impression of some people, such as CB. Medium blue. Medium blue. That, Lavanya. Prashant, hey, how's it going? But try the darker red. Uh, no. Yes. Everyone say yes, yes. Uh, so the problem was my voice was breaking before, but now it's clear. Uh, your voice is clear to Amin. Thank you, Amin. If you got any English questions, let me know. We're just trying to figure out this color. Uh, I'm going to, you know, ultimately, every, not everyone's going to agree on the same color. That's uh, very bright. I think I, you know, I think maybe. Oh. Ooh. A little bit brighter. What about orange? What is orange blue? Orange, orange blue is not a color. You mean like it's orange? A little bright. Oh, you guys have to, Lavanya, you guys have to be very specific in your instructions because just giving one or two words, I don't understand. Yeah, like this. Yes, now your voice is perfect. That's very clear. If she just said yes, I don't know what you're talking about. Orange red. What is orange red? What does that mean? Orange red? But I don't know what orange red is. <laughs> what is orange red? Orange red. What orange? What do you like? Orange? I'll look at the vote here. Looking at 100 English questions. Orange or pink? Put your vote in the comments. Orange or pink?
orange or pink? What is the cutest thing you ever seen? Uh, uh, well, animals are cute. Uh, not so much babies. Um, cute. I'm not really a cute fan. I guess uh, baby animals are cute. I mean, this is a new color. I mean, coming with his vice. So, I mean, you're giving a, a you're saying a new color, but you got to give a recommendation, a new color. What color do you recommend? You can't. I use orange red. What is orange red? That is not a color. That's two colors, Layla. What is orange red? Which is correct, family or family? My family is. My family is. And Amin knows that. Family is. Because family is a collective noun, like team or a class, a group of people, but considered one thing. So we use is. I like blue color, but I don't like, I like bright. Well, the, the problem with that is the background is blue. The background is blue. So what works on a... It would have to be a darker... Maybe that's too dark. So we got the darker color. Now this is orange is more attractive. Orange is good. Pink should be less bright. Amy Ann says pink should be less bright. Let's take a look. Pink should be less bright. Like that. But I think the letters are more clear with pink. You know any motivation, inspirational? So ah, CB, you you always ask me the questions that don't really apply to me because I don't listen to music, so I don't really have any music suggestion. CB, I, I I I'm really not a music fan. You know, in the WhatsApp group, Jack Jack is a music fan, and maybe Mike, those guys are music fans, but I'm not the guy to ask about music. I don't know how to describe with with only words. Yeah, you got to know the colors. You can't just say two colors because I'm joking. I mean, orange, red, maybe a new color. What is orange, red? Is this an Arabic thing? In Arabic, do you put orange and red together? Could you see that's red? Color of that drop is red. Blood red. Red. Oh, Salome says pink. I am going to follow what she says. I respect her opinion more than anyone's opinion. At Salome, Amy and Blood Red. All right, let's see. We got the orange, we got the pink, we got the red. Final vote. Well, the background should not be red. Final vote, pink, orange, or red. Naki, pink, pink, all right. We already got two people with pink. Salome gets double vote, so that's already four people for pink. Pink wins.
happy. It's not really a pink. I don't even know what to call that color. All right, do you like the light? Here, I'll, break, I'll make that bigger. Do you like, here, I can make this really big. Do you like the light pink of this or the dark pink? Light, dark, light, Dark, light, dark, no for a red big one, okay. Layla has a vote, uh, vote for Light. Dark. One, light or dark? Amien says light. Layla says light. All right. I'm waiting for uh, Salome's vote. If you have any English questions, let me know. Light. All right. Let's check his questions. Questions might be rude, rude. Some might be strange. Please answer the questions. Where you want. Here we go. What's your name? Hmm. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? There we go. What's your name? See how important is attitude when it comes to failure? Success attitude is everything. You have to keep a positive attitude. You have to know you cannot be a complainer. You have to keep positive. Don't complain and be diligent. Attitude is everything. Attitude is everything, CB. Oh, did I use a question tag correctly in the following question? Yeah, that's right. Robin posts a video on Daily English Homework Channel. I would say Robin posts a video on the Daily English Homework Channel or his Daily English Homework Channel every day, doesn't he? That's right. Uh, tag question. Robin, how did you learn editing videos? I am not a master at editing, but... I every video on everywhere I had to edit. Uh, I know I know how to edit a basic level, but I know how to do it. Uh, years years of self study, practicing. So I've edited probably six, over six hundred videos. That helps. What's your name? My name is Hassan. 
My name is Hassan. Where are you from? And I came from Iran. Oh, so Salome, this is your country folk. Hassan. Where are you from? And I came from Iran. I have someone from Iran on the channel because of you. I decided, well, I need someone from Iran. What's your name? Does he look like he's from Iran? My name is Hassan. Where are you from? And I came from Iran. My name is Hassan. Where are you from? Hassan. Where are you from? And I came from Iran. What city were you born in? Did you only film one video with Hassan? I filmed two videos. I filmed the 100 questions. He's not a teacher, right? So I filmed 100 questions. And then I asked him 25 questions about I Iran. More. I don't like. Yeah. Hello, Hassan. OK. Culture and a lot of poetry. What is the worst thing about Iran? What is the worst thing about Iran? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I asked him. Depends on the grammar of the sentence, Layla. What is the best age to get married? Uh, uh, which country are you in? I think around age 32 is a good age. How can I memorize information better? Like I'm always forgetting things I, I already know. It happens for me in all different topics in my life as a teacher. Do you have any advice? I mean, how do I forget? I'm not perfect. I forget thing, things every day. I mean, uh, I'm not the guy to ask because uh, you know, as a human, we all suffer from this. Uh this helps, you know, when I forget, I just go back to my phone. Oh, okay, that's what that, you know, okay. Yeah, I wish it was you. How can you motivate yourself to try something again when you have failed? Oh. Depends on what, CB. You got to be specific there. Uh, sometimes... When you fail, maybe that's not for you. Because I've seen uh, a lot of people fail to do things that they shouldn't be trying to do. On the other hand, I, I seen people quit or fail and they should try again. So depends what it is. Yeah, I asked him uh, everything about Iran, but he he's a little... He's a little strange in his answers. He does not. He does not represent Iran. I don't. I don't think he's a typical Iranian person. You understand? I think he's a little bit special in his views and his opinions. So. Don't you have any teachers from Saudi Arabia, but they were born in English countries? Nope. Uh, to teach in Korea, you cannot be from Saudi Arabia. You have to be from an English-speaking country to teach in Korea. So there's no Saudi Arabia teachers here. Yeah, he has, he has a face to come from there, but I think Pakistan or India seems better. He was a he was a very nice guy. He was very very nice, very he was the nicest one of the nicest people I ever met. Hassam here. Uh, could I know what is the point of bringing other people who are not from England countries to your channel? Uh, he speaks English. Why why wouldn't I interview him? 
one hundred question. He he speaks English. Uh, Al Nood. Hi, Mr. Ram. I'm sorry I cannot be here because oh the yeah, your pain in my teeth. Yeah, that's fine. I'll watch the video. Let you know my uh, my opinion about him later. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people will have an opinion about Hassan. What should a person be aware of be, before deciding to become an English teacher? Yeah, good question, David S. Uh, number one, you're not going to be rich teaching English. <laughs> you're never going to be rich teaching English. So. Uh, my advice is, uh, if you are going to be an English teacher because of money, not going to happen, not going to happen. So, uh, it's a good job and, uh, and I think you should, if you want to become an English teacher, I think you should get a, as much education and certification you can about it. Uh, and you'll never make all the students happy, <laughs> no matter what you do. They will complain. Leila, does Hassan live in South Korea? I don't know. You have to wait for the video. <laughs> Maybe we can get to that question. See. Oh, what's your name? Hmm. Ooh. What's your name? My name is Hassan. Where are you from? And I came from Iran. What city were you born in? Karaj. It takes about two hours to Tehran. Karaj. 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 Salome, are you here? Where's Karaj? Let's take a look at the world. I don't know my Iran geography very well. Let's take a trip, class trip. Woo, we're flying to Iran. We're... Here we are, Karaj. Garage. I don't see it. Garage. Garage. Cash mark. Garage. Where is Karash? Uh, I don't know. Anyone know where Karash is? He's from Iran. Lavanya. No, all the videos are there. <laughs> what if you could say a sentence which the whole world could hear? What would you say? Please subscribe to my channels. He is from Karaj. So where, that's how you spell it. Thank you for telling me. 
I ain't doing nothing to spill a Karash. Oh, there it was. Oh, it's right outside of Tehran. Karash. Tehran, Karash. That's his hometown. Let's take a look. Let's drop in. Boop. Welcome to Karaj. Chitra. Uh, well, it looks like there's no people. <laughs> Maybe this is... Looks clean. Looks like Korea. Except the cars are... Oh, is that the license plates? How can you read that? Karaj. Oh, we're in the shop. <laughs> Let's go shopping. What are we going to buy? No. I didn't like that street. Karash. Okay, a lot of people. Where's all the people? Must be hot or something. I oh, it's all boarded up. Is there a lot of crime? Oh, is there a lot of crime there? Oh, there's the people. Oh, that's noisy. Let's close that. Looks like similar to Korea, actually. The streets, the trees. That could be Korea. Karash. All right, field trip over. It's the capital of Alborz province near Tehran. Okay. Are there any Saudi people studying Korea? Because lots of young girls like Korean culture. Uh, no, I have never met a Saudi student. Why? I don't know. I've met, the, you know, my university and other university. I've met students from all over the world, but I've never met a Saudi student. So, Leila, I don't know why that is. Neki knows Karaj. Please visit my country, Sudan, on your way to Iran. Well, on my way, Sudan is uh, not on the way because I got to go from Korea to Iran, and then Sudan is here. Maybe I would come down from Cairo down into Sudan. Sudan is... Let's take a look. Where's a good place to look? <laughs> someone's laundry. Uh, someone's house. Okay. Well, let's not look in the house. That's kind of weird. Sudan. Nighttime. Bank of Khartoum. Uh, Sudan is a Muslim country. Yeah, I'll come there. When I'm fluent, you make a video, 100 questions for me. Uh, no, Lavanya, you don't need to be fluent. You can do it. When I come see you, I'll make 100 questions. City was, is with... Okay, you fixed it. Maybe the first person from Saudi Arabia would be me. There might be some visa restrictions. Can Saudi Arabia women study in Korea? So, oh. I 
So I think it's a new rule, 2019. Uh, they allow women to study abroad. So it's a new rule. So it might take some time before we start getting Saudi uh, women. Oh. If you have any English questions, let me know. What's your name? My name is, is Hassan. My name is Hassan. Where are you from? I got to do a hundred questions. And I came from Iran. What's your name? My name is Hess. Hey, Sam. My name is Hessam. Where are you from? And I came from here. He says, and I came from Iran. Hassam. Where are you from? from? And I came from Iran. What, what city were you born? born in? Karaj. It takes about two hours to Tehran. Two hours? Seems closer than that. What city were you born in? city were you born in? It says Kairaj. What else did he say? Alhasa, govern it. All right, Leila. I think we looked before. I'm going to Saudi Arabia. Oh, let's see if I can find it. Don't tell me. I'll has it. I, I had a feeling it was around here somewhere. Let's see if I write. How did you spell it? Al-Hasa. al Hassa. Al Hassa. I don't see it. No, I th I'm pretty sure it was around here. All right, let's let's check it. There it is, Al Hassa. Oh, this is the whole place. But uh, so I was at the right location, but you didn't give the the town name. I could do my homework right now, couldn't I? Did I use take questions? Yeah, that's right. Good practice. That's to Layla. You always have freedom. So is that? Oh yeah. So I was at the right place. And uh, we just got to find your house. Your house is in this city. And right here. There, there's your house, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, look at that sand. <gasps> look at all that sand. That's a coffee shop? That's where Layla drinks coffee? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know. It's like a different country to me. <laughs> P. 
paint. The bookstore, the Alrash, the bookstore. What's yeah? It doesn't look like where's the trees? <laughs> where's the trees? Maybe near the lake. Have you been to these lakes? Oh, wow. <gasps> Have you been there, Layla? Oh, look at that sun. There's no tree. Oh, oh, look at all that sand. Oh, that's amazing. Look at all that. Oh, no trees, just sand, sand and water. Can you go swimming in there? See. I live in El Mumbaras. Well, don't don't say too much, Layla. All right, that area. Lucy Richard, please help me. We, we want, we, we, someone talks in English, understand very well, but when I try to talk, I feel what is happening. Uh, you just take, need practice, Lucy. Join the WhatsApp group. Practice speaking. Just takes practice. You can get better. There are no trees. Not yet. I didn't go that lake. You didn't go that lake. It's, right next to your house. My world, that's beautiful. Yeah, you don't want BB to find you, Layla. Maybe BB's from Saudi Arabia. You never know. You're famous, Layla, so. Oh, there's the trees. Yeah, it looks hot. Well, there's water on the road. Where did that water come from? Sand and more sand. There's a, a lot of sand must get in the house. If you open the window, it's just sand. This guy looks cool. Wow, oh, that's just covered right up. It's like a missing, miss, just a black part of the picture. It's like someone cut out this person from the picture. The money, the money services. All right. Interesting, Layla. There are no people outside because it's sunny. Please teach a visit in my country, Chad, in Africa. Chad. Chad. There's no, oh, there's not much happening in Chad. There's just little towns, villages. Everything is right next to the border. Let's see if they have Google. Oh, there's only this. No, Google doesn't. No, Google won't let me go to Chad. The 
Let's see if I can go another. Oh, there's other place. Oh, no. No. Okay. Here, here's one place in Chad. And we're in prison. It looks like we're stuck in someone's. Well, is this a house? Does someone live here? Look at that fence. What is that protecting against? Is the is it dangerous? Are the people coming? Satellite dish. I like green area. I don't like desert. I don't know why do oh a lot of these places cannot go to. Someone's house. Well, looks like a nice house. Chad, I don't know why that guy wanted to show off his house. Yeah, there's not much to see in Chad. Google Google Maps doesn't really show us anything in Chad. No, sorry, there's not much to see in Chad. I think that water because they water a few trees. Should I practice my reading skills or IELTS skills to improve or deal with unknown vocabulary? Well, David S., always first is your general English. Uh, IELTS is not the way. IELTS is not the way to improve your English. So you want to improve your English through general English. And then IELTS is the test. So if you just study for the IELTS test, uh, that doesn't really help your general English. That helps you with the test. So uh, there's a lot of research that's been done. David S., the best thing for you is always keep your general English up, reading, writing, speaking, listening. And when you decide you need to do the IELTS test, then you, you focus uh, on the test to learn the test, but you still keep your general reading up or your general uh, learning up because IELTS gets you... Oh, we had a big problem in Canada, or every country has big problems. A lot of students come, they get an IELTS score, TOEFL score, they come and they can't speak English. So they, there's a very high dropout rate, David S., because people just studied those tests. They didn't study their general English. And when they get to the university, they drop out. And uh, you don't want to disappoint your family. Learn English, don't learn IELTS. I mean, you got to study IELTS, but your goal is... Always improve your general English. I know people that just study IELTS six, seven hours a day for one year. Wow, what a waste of time. That will never help their English. I feel you already visited my country with this digital tour. Yeah, it's a digital tour, so I don't have to go now, Layla. Thank you. I saved time and money. This has okay, what does he say here? And I came from Iran. What city were you born in? Hey. Oh. What city were you born in? What city were you born in? Karash. Karash. It takes about two hours to Tehran. All right. It takes takes about two hours to Tehran. All right. I think we got it. Tehran. What city were you born in? Karaj. 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 It takes about two hours to Tehran. How old are you? Oh. How old do you think he is? Ron. How old are you? How old are you? What's your guess? How old do you think he is? How old are you? Any guess?
Yeah, let's go back to WhatsApp. I'm going to load up WhatsApp. Get the... Layla, you don't have to be here so long because I'm going to stay here a long time, Layla. Be here so long. All right, I just put it up. All right, we have the age guesses. 34. 33. And I'll get 37. So the youngest was 33. Uh, Layla, I'm eagerly awaiting that day if I feel it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there, Layla. Just relax. Patience. All right, let's hear his answer. Two hours to Tehran. How old are you? I am 28 years old. What did he say? Listen again. What did he say? How old are you? I am 28 years old. What did he say? How old are you? I am 28 years old. What do you do? What do you do? Same age with me. Hey, I can introduce you. What do you do? Well, let's find out his job before you're interested. What do you do? What do you do? Well, now I'm looking for a job. Mm. What did you say? Well, now I'm looking for a job. Well, now I'm looking for a job. What do you do? Well, now I'm looking for a job. No job. Hendrik, why are you handsome? Are you talking to uh, Hassam here? Oh, my listening to his age was correct at the first time. Yes. OMG. I guess you're, uh, I guess you're older than 28. Ooh. Well, now I'm looking for a job. Yeah, a lot of people are looking for a job. I understand that. Lavanya thinks... Lavanya, how old do I look? 57? He is looking for a job. Is that okay? Layla Zanadi, welcome to the live stream. If you have any English questions, I will help you out. I'm in my office right now. I'm just editing some videos, but I'm here to talk with you. If you have a question, let me know. Anyone watching, if you've got a question about English, about life, Anything. Let's talk. Let's chat. 
What do you do? Well, now I'm looking for a job. What was your major in university? Hmm. What was my question? What was your major in university? What was your major in university? Why are you so handsome? I am not handsome. All right. Uh, hello, Riri. Welcome back. Thanks. You got any questions? Uh, Layla Zanadi? How do I say that last name? Is the Z silent? Would it be Layla Nady or is it Zanadi? Oh, yes, it's okay. Is uh, Hassam your style, Salome? Is that your style of guy? Uh, Ali, I have a problem with accent. Okay, now, you, you, and what is the best way to improve? You have to know the difference between accent and pronunciation. So if you are looking for a British or American accent, I'm not going to help you because I don't think those are important. But if you have a problem with pronunciation, uh, that's uh, that's many things. You've got to improve your listening, so listen more. And pronunciation is a physical problem, all right? It's a physical problem. It's not a mental problem. You, your mouth and tongue and teeth, they're not going to the right place. So you really have to listen more, practice. You can shadow or mimic a, a native teacher, watch TV. When they're saying certain words, copy them. Uh, that's something you need to work on, Aliyah. And you said, I have a problem. Who said you have a problem? In the WhatsApp group, send a voice note. Let me know. I'll tell you your problem. Age is, age is only a number. It's not a silent Z. So Zenady. Zanady, Leila Zanady, Leila Zanady, that's a good name. Now I'm looking for job equals I'm unemployed. Yes. Uh, but of course, one, one phrase, I'm looking for jobs is more uh, positive. I'm looking for a job. But if you say I don't have a job, a negative, that sounds negative, bad. So let's keep positive. I'm looking for a job. Recently, I, I study English considerably. Robin drinks coffee considerably. I stopped drinking coffee. Did I use considerably? Did I use considerably properly? Yes, but you don't need them. Why did you use them? Uh, did I use considerably properly, or did I use the word properly? My English weakness is memorizing idioms. You should not be memorizing idioms. And really, you don't need to learn idioms that much. Idioms are not that important. I would, on a level of 1 to 10. Here, let's make it big screen here. 10 is very important and 1 is not important. So on a level, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, very important. Idioms, I would put at number one, not important at all. Idioms are not important at all. Uh, but students want to learn idioms. Okay, I'll teach idioms, but uh, that's not going to make you fluent. You don't need to memorize them. There, I gave you a very easy solution. I don't like coffee. Me neither. Me neither. How about a neither? Me either or me. Let's let me check that. I did a video on that before, but you should say me neither or neither. So you need an N. Me neither. Some some foreigners will say me either but it should be me neither. 
I think that was like, I, I don't understand that comment. You have another Layla with your students. Oh, yeah. Well, Riri, you, you can hear the, it's good to know if someone, if you hear an idiom or someone says an idiom, but idioms, there's not too many idioms that people say over and over again. So you just, you can naturally learn them. Don't memorize them. In terms of topics for speaking or writing on IELTS, how current would the topic be? Would it be asked about my opinion on controversial to No, IELTS is very basic. They're going to talk. They're going to talk about experiences everyone have. So experiences people have around the world. Uh, they're going to talk about maybe environment that could be a controversial topic but you don't have to be controversial you just talk about the environment or travel or money getting a job uh, studying you know experiences people have they're not going to go into something that is like religion uh, no they're not going to touch those kind of topics so just general topics that everyone can, everyone should have an answer for. They're not going to be specific. They're not going to ask you, what do you think of Brexit? No, they're never going to ask that. I don't either. Neither do I. Or me neither. Well, that all sounds like the same. I don't either. Neither do I. Me neither. Yep, that sounds like the same. Everyday language, yes. Don't you think if we know about idioms, that will help us to understand the Western culture? Mm, no, not at all. <laughs> no, slang and idioms. Uh, Layla, I never, I never use slang or idioms in any of my live streams. Never, unless I'm teaching it. But when I speak, and when I'm speaking, I never use idioms. You've been listening to me for years. I don't use idioms. Uh, I don't want to. That's not, they're not important to me. They're not important at all. Where can I practice my English? Hey, you check below this video. You can join the WhatsApp group. We have WhatsApp group. Come into the WhatsApp group and uh, practice your English. I'm looking now. Nobody's liking this video. Nobody's liking this video. I need to... Boom. Like and subscribe. Boom. Join the WhatsApp. Boom. Ba -ba -ba Boom. I lost the comments. Stop. What was your major in university? It was, I studied. It was, I studied business administration. Mm -hmm. I studied business administration. Business administration. Uh, I'm looking at my other monitor. No, 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 no. no. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Lots of confusing things. Please like the video.
Uh, D O oh, hello. How are you today? If you got any English questions, let me know. I'm in my office working right now, so I'm here to help out students. Let me know if you need some help. All right. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't want to say they're not important. It's just I gave them a number one out of 10 for important. They're still important, just not, not as important as students think they are. All right, see you la later, Layla. Uh, a, Leah, functional skills. Uh, you, you need F, U. Let's bring it up on the board here. Functional skills. What are functional skills? Functional skills are the fundamental English math uh, skills that people need for working and personal lives. People can study for cause. Uh, I would say the, the basic skills to function. So we have... We have something called functional English. So you're able to go to a restaurant. You're able to go to the bank. You're able to function in an English speak English speaking society. You can function. So functional skills, yeah, the basic level you can survive. Uh, that's how I see functional skills. Uh, get out, Layla. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you, David S. Could I use any word from my local language in speaking test? Nope. Should I need to explain the meaning of that word? Yes. This is a, a language test. So I don't know where you're going to take the test, but if you are introducing a place or, or, or a name of a place, uh, you... You have to you have to explain it, especially if you think the IELTS examiner doesn't know. And do your best not to say anything in your language. So they might ask, where do you live? Okay, you might say your local area in your language, but nothing else, nothing else. You shouldn't be saying anything in your language, nothing. Alex says, is, is it correct to assume that present perfect is more common in British English than in American English? Sally isn't here. She's gone out. British English, Sally isn't here. She went out. Uh, I don't know, Alex. Has there been research on that? And why is that important to you? I, I don't know about that. I'm going to check that. And uh, the internet says, uh, put it up here. Uh, we use the present perfect more frequently in British English. So according to this website, it is true. And yeah, it seems to be true. Okay. So British, this extends it to Australia, did the present perfect. So the answer to your question is yes, I would say it's correct to assume that. But why is that important? Why is that necessary to know? You know, that's not common knowledge. Uh, if, if you're just curious, okay, there it is. But it's not going to help you learn English. I just get my thumb there. Hey, Michel, hello.
The official what is it? the official ambassador of the mulatto race. Oh, welcome. Hi, how can I best tell my dear friend that I am a better MC than him? Don't tell him. Show him. You, you don't tell people stuff to prove. You got to show them to prove. Hey, man, you're a better MC. Show. You don't. If you're better, you don't need to prove to anyone. But if you want to prove it, show him. To understand English, what is the best? What is the basic? one we have to understand should we understand all the grammar because when i taught english i taught the grammar to my students yeah riri uh i think if we're in level zero level zero you're starting a b c one two three how to read and you slowly get into the grammar basic grammar like uh, the be verb, I am, he is. Okay, that grammar is needed right away. And then start teaching the basic uh, simple tenses, uh, uh, like present simple, past simple, future simple. Teach that grammar. And that's good for level zero. And then students will move on to level one and immediately... This is uh, where different education systems change around the world because in uh, e English educational system, we're going to stop teaching grammar rules to our kids. Occasionally, we'll teach them grammar rules, but for the most part, we change to reading because if if children are reading a lot, they will naturally, brains are very smart. They pick up patterns. They pick up patterns. So if you read a lot, naturally, your brain will pick up. They will start to discover the patterns. And they're getting more input with their listening and their reading. And they will acquire English. They do not need to learn English. So that's, that's how you learned your language. You didn't learn all the grammar rules in your language. You just picked it up from home, the playground, and in school sometimes we did grammar, but you didn't learn all the grammar rules. So a lot of the problem is a lot of teachers are not, they can teach English, but they're not fluent in English. So they feel, okay, I'm not fluent in English. I got to focus on grammar. And they're very strict with grammar. Learning grammar for 10 years helps no one. Uh, I've never met a student with a high level of English that's just focused on grammar. Uh, you know, I'm in Korea and they only study grammar and they're English. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm not a grammar teacher. I am a reading teacher. My opinion, 100%, I believe reading will teach you all the grammar or help you acquire all the grammar you um, at a better more efficient and quicker rate than going to a grammar class with a teacher so uh really i would say focus less on grammar more on input from reading and listening kids do not need to be you know I, you know, one time I was teaching at a Korean elementary school and I walked into where I was teaching grade one and I had, I was the English teacher, but I had a Korean assistant. So I walked in, I said, hello, children. And the Korean assistant translated that into Korean. And I was teaching commands like stand up, sit down. And the Korean teacher kept translating that for the children. How stupid is that? You know, if I say stand up to the children and I show them stand up, it takes children one second to learn stand up. But the Korean teacher kept translating. And I said to her, 
you know, you're, you're not helping here. It takes ch children are so smart. They learn so fast. Uh, shut up. Just let them listen to me. They will learn a lot quicker. If I only teach in English, they only hear English, no translation. But in the Korean mind, uh, you know, they thought, oh, I have to translate for the, so the children understand. I was like, anyway, I could talk for hours about that. All right. Sorry, uh, Leila. I don't think the grammar is enough, Robin said. The functional is what we need. Well, yeah. You got to read, write, listen, speak as much as you can. Um, try to get away. Your goal is to get away from textbooks, get away from the classroom, get away from, get away from paying. Paying, if you have to pay for a textbook or you got to pay for a class, that means you are a lazy student. I don't want to say lazy, but you are a student that needs someone to tell you what to do. Uh, but you can learn English for free. Uh, there's so much resources, but it's up to you to go after and get it. But I know some people, they, I need a book. I need a classroom. I need a teacher. Okay. If you need that, you got to pay. But that's not the best way to learn English. The best way is inside you realize I have the power to go out there and watch YouTube and watch Netflix and read and practice my listening with podcasts. I have the power to do that. I don't need some English teacher teaching me whatever. Can phrasal verbs be used in formal and semi formal writing test? Uh, yes. Well, officially, you don't want to use phrasal verbs. So phrasal verbs are casual. There's always better vocabulary. So, for example, if I say... Uh, Please get out. I'm not going to write that in an essay, but get out would be a phrasal verb. But if you're on an, you're writing an essay, there, get out, there is better vocabulary for that. I can say, please leave. Please exit the building. So on an essay for IELTS or uh, IELTS or in university, you want to stay away from phrasal verbs because there's better vocabulary you can use to show off your language skills. But if you use a phrasal verb, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, David. Try not to, but if you use one, they're, they're, it's not a big problem. Is there a difference between saying the car is parked at the front versus the car is parked in the front? Uh, no. Good question. I would say no. Interesting. Uh, I think more common is in the front. Good question, Alex. Where are you from, Alex? Where are you getting these questions? There's, there's a car, there's a car park, parked at the front. There's a car parked in the front. I think both would be used, but is there a technical rule? Uh, for that case, both can be used. Yeah, I, I I see no difference, Alex. Good question. If you know something about that, let me know. Here in Morocco, students stay study grammar deeply. Yeah, every country um, they usually focus on a grammar heavy uh, uh, course. When I studied French in Canada. We never studied grammar. We just spoke and read and listened. Uh, 
and I would immersion. Immersion, you're just surrounded by that language, exposed to that language. You're going to learn at a quicker rate. Uh, grammar are the rules. You know, we always go to that. You know, how, how, how do you study? How do you learn tennis? Do you read the rule book or do you go out and play? Well, if one student spent one week reading the rule book and one student just went out and was practiced playing tennis, and at the end of the week, the student with the rule knows all the rules and the student that practiced playing, if they had a match, the student who practiced for a week and learned the rules naturally will kill <laughs> the student that knows only the rules, of course. So the grammar is the rules. If you just study grammar, you could study grammar. You can be perfect. You could be absolutely perfect perfect at grammar but you you doesn't mean you're going to speak english well at all doesn't mean you're going to be speaking english well it's going to help but that's not an indicator of uh an advanced person there's a lot of people that know grammar a lot better than me but they don't speak english yeah reading thanks lavanya Uh, what's the best way to learn nuances of words? Good question, Peter Kim. And that is a very important question, the nuance. Because nuance can't be taught. Teachers cannot teach nuance. So what teaches you nuance is exposure. You know, you have to be exposed to a, a word in multiple contexts. So... You know, if uh, I'm going to use the word shut up, uh, shut up in English and shut up in, you know, I, I'm in Korea. So if you translate shut up to Korean, same word, but shut up has, is a different, it's different. It's a little different. Although it's completely translated equally, shut up, shut up. In Korean, it has more power, right? It has more power. And I didn't know that. So when I'm in the classroom and sometimes I'm telling jokes and I just say, ah, shut up. The students would react like I said something really, really bad. And, you know, shut up can be bad, you know, depending how you say it. Shut up. Or I was just joking around, but they felt shut up uh, was uh you know bad so i said shut up you know over the years i said shut up a few times and the students reacted negatively okay i learned naturally shut up in english and shut up in in korean is a little different so i had to experience those situations to learn oh it's a little bit different and it's the same with everything you know, I can teach you, I can teach you a word, I can teach you what it means, I can teach you the connotation, but as you know, there's nuances to words, sentences. You have to be exposed more, more listening, more reading, more listening, more reading, extensive reading, extensive listening. And you will understand exactly the nuances in English. It cannot be taught. That's your journey, Peter Kim. Good luck. I'll do my best to help, but uh, I'm going okay. If you keep, if you keep trying, yeah, those kids. That's um, reading. If it is your kids in your language, get them reading. There has been study after study, the benefits of reading just in your language for your children. Children who read at a young age have more success academically in the future. Get any children reading in their own language and reading in English. You're creating not just people that are bilingual, 
or trilingual. You're getting them trained on how to get in information and uh, it, it just helps them to be successful. Reading for everyone, for everyone. Adults is more difficult because adults don't want to read anymore, including me. I don't want to read a book anymore. I just want to look at TikTok. Why spend an hour reading a book when I can look at TikTok? Children should not be on TikTok. Get them, get a book in front of them. I've been studying this for years, but never able to speak it until I start watching movies and doc. Yeah, you got to take control of your study. Get out of that classroom. Get away from those textbooks. They're not going to take you to the next level. From Chile living in Australia. Ah, I, I went to Darwin. Which part of Australia? That's quite the trip across the uh, Pacific Ocean there. How long is that flight? Are you no? I do not know grammar perfectly. Not at all. No, no human knows grammar perfectly in any language. If someone says they know grammar perfectly, I'd call them a liar immediately. Hello, Anna Maria. If you have any English questions, let me know. I'm just in my office right now working. What was your major in university? It was, uh, I studied business administration. I studied. What was your major in university? We have been uh, we have been challenged lately to implement, not implement. I starts with I. The twenty first century skills in our classroom, but we feel really helpless. What are twenty one century skills? What are twenty one century skills? Or twenty first century skills? Learning English. Hello, good day. Do you have any English questions? Let me know. In Sydney. There's a direct flight from Chile to uh, 14 hours. Okay, that's not bad. 14 hours. That's okay. Ah, Layla, what are the 21st century skills? I don't know. I'm going to check here. 21st century skills. It says here, let's make it bigger. The 21st century skills, critical thinking, create 12, 12 abilities, critical thinking, mm, that's difficult for a lot of countries, creativity, mm, collaboration, communication, information literacy, mm, media literacy, yeah, very important, technology literacy, flexibility, yeah, very important, oh, these are all very important skills, yeah. Uh, I don't teach these skills. Uh, I try to teach these skills indirectly, but I don't teach them directly. Social skills. Oh. Uh, yeah, these are good skills. I agree with this list. We're getting lots of advertisement. Excuse me. That's a sneeze. Uh, tips? I don't know. I, I don't have experience directly teaching these skills, but do your best because I think these are important skills everyone should have, not just kids, but adults, especially the 
digital stuff. TikTok is very addictive, but stay away. You waste your time to implement, yes. Uh, a lawyer and advocate. Well, good question. Let's get that on the screen here. It says an advocate is a qualified individual who represents the client in the court of law, whereas a lawyer is used to designate anyone in the legal profession. So an advocate is not a lawyer. It's just someone helping you. Is that right? So they got a nice picture here. Let's take a, this nice picture. How can we take a... Uh, Lawyer, graduate of law, practicing law. So they're not a lawyer yet. Hmm. Well, no, wait. They're practicing law means they are a lawyer. Eligible. This this doesn't help me, this chart. Represents. Uh, this is beyond me. I'm not. A lawyer, ugh, we got more in advertisement. A lawyer is a basic term that refers to any person who has a law degree. There can be various types of lawyers, such as advocates, attorneys, and solicitors. Okay, so it's just a type of lawyer. So the advocate. Okay, I, I think I got it. So the advocate can stand in the court. Not all lawyers can stand in the court uh, in front of a judge. So the advocate, so I guess if we're watching TV, a court movie, and we see the lawyer, he's a lawyer or she's a lawyer in the court, that is the advocate trying to help the person. But there's a lot of lawyers that do not and cannot go to court. There are different kinds of lawyers. Uh, usually we just say lawyer. My major in university was English literature, but I didn't like reading novels, so my concern was English li linguistics. Oh, geez, linguistics is so hard. You, did you study semantics and syntax? Oh, I hate syntax. Hi, hello, welcome. I, I'll be right back. I'm going to turn on my air conditioner. It's getting really, really hot in my room now. Just give me a moment. Take a small break. I need uh, music. There we go. I'm ready. I got a drink too. I turned on the air conditioner. Now, now it looks like a Twitch stream. Hello, I'm Robin, the blind teacher. If you have any questions, let me know. No questions. I'm just going to work. Yeah, I'm in my office now. Oh, I'm looking for a job. What was your major in university? It was, I studied business administration. 
studied business administration. What university did you go to? I went to Korea University. What university did he go to? Did you hear his answer? What was the name of the Twitch streamer? Do just uh, Doctor Disrespect or something? I don't know. Doctor Respect. Not it. Yeah, that's that's right. Vids. Oh, hello. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm working. No question. All right. See you, Layla. Uh, Layla's back. Welcome. What university did you go to? I went to Korea University. What university did he go to? I went to Korea University. I went to Korea University. Which lake is this? What do you mean lake? Yes. Oh, night. I study linguistics too. So I know the nightmare. Semantics, syntax, phonology, morphology. Yeah, I did all that. I did all that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, night. I'm having nightmares of that, that course. <laughs> I remember I, I took it at the master's level. So I studied a master's course in those things and syntax. I remember I had a syntax uh, exam and it was so hard. The professor made it so hard syntax. No one here, you don't need to study semantics. It's, uh, semantics is easy, but syntax, uh, don't study that. Why are you wearing glasses, Robin? Of course, Layla, I do not have to answer, but I will answer for you because I'm so cool. What does Salt Lake City mean? Salt Lake City is a city in America. That's the name of the city, Salt Lake City. So if we go to Google Maps here. We're going to fly over to America, another class trip, flying over to America. And you see this is America. And we go into uh, Utah, the state of Utah. And you can see the name of the city is called Salt Lake City. Because this is the Great Salt Lake. Let's take a look at the Great Salt Lake. Psh. There it is over there, the Great Salt Lake. So that's Salt Lake City. I've never been there. I almost went there, but no time. If I was speak English like native speakers, should I study the grammar correctly or very hard? No, stop studying grammar directly. Stop now. I'll take off the glasses. Uh, I think anyone watching me right now Stop reading grammar books. This is not going to get you to that next level. You have to start listening to YouTube and reading. This will get you to the next level. You know, I have adult students like, it, you know, in Korea, if I teach, sometimes I'm teaching older people, they're like 40 or 50 years old, and I'll meet them and they'll say, please recommend a grammar book. It's like, 
you've been studying grammar for 30 years. It hasn't helped you. <laughs> Do something else. Change it up. If I have made mistake in the meaning of what I said in the speaking test, should I correct the mistake right away or just continue to ignore it? Well, it depends on the mistake, but if you make a mistake, try to correct yourself as soon as you can. Not don't speak 5 minutes and then go back and cor correct yourself from 2 minutes ago. It has to be immediate correction. I'd like to live nearby a lake. There's so much fish I could swim. Yeah, it'd be nice. I learned English just to speak. I like English and I want to improve myself. Yeah, that is what a teacher wants to hear. <laughs> Not many students say that. A lot of people don't. A lot of people think they have to learn English, but they don't really want to learn English. And that's frustrating to me because they come into my classroom. They don't want to be there. So makes my job difficult. I'm going to open up my drink. <laughs> they do not sponsor this video. So this is uh, Welch's zero. Zero means, uh, you can't read that, uh, means... Uh, 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 zero calorie. That's what zero means. Zero calorie. They do not sponsor. What university did you? What university did he go to? What university did you go to? I went to Korea University. I went to Korea University. Korea University. Went to Korea University. I stopped studying grammar books since you mentioned it. I try to learn grammar only by watching your live streams or James. I also stop watching any other channels related to grammar. Grammar is uncountable, so you just say grammar. That's good, Layla. It would be. It wouldn't help you. Wouldn't help you. You're better. You're gonna learn better just by using the language. Stay away from grammar. University. What is your dream job? What is your dream job? What is your dream job? An anchor, I can say. An anchor, I can say. What's his dream job? What is your dream job? An anchor, I can say. An anchor, I can say. That's a hard one, students. What does he say? An anchor, I can say. What is your dream job? An anchor, I can say. That drink, uh, yeah, no sugar. I don't have sugar. Hey, Hassan, yeah, you can ask any question you want. This is just my office. Welcome. Ask away. Clavi says, Teacher, that's just a teacher. And that nightmare has gone. That's why I didn't continue for a master's degree. I chose to get married and become a seller. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, that's probably a better choice. So here I am to study in a fun way. I don't want to get stressed anymore. Yeah, I understand. So, Riri, we already have a connection because I understand your pain. <laughs> it's hard to catch the words. Yes. What is your dream job? An anchor, I can say. Well, he says an anchor, I can say. 
Uh, what is an anchor? What is an anchor? I forgot the numbers. Question seven. Remember, there's 100 of these questions I got to fix. I went to an anchor. I can say it. What does that mean? What is an anchor? What is your dream job? An anchor. I can say. Are you married? Question nine, are you married? You think he's married? Yes or no? Is he married? Are you married? Are you married? Is he married? An anchor. Well, let's check the dictionary. So we go to the dictionary. We'll go to Oxford. Oxford there. We type in anchor. Heavy metal that is attached to a rope or chain and dropped over the side of a ship. This is an anchor. He doesn't want to be that. A person or thing that gives somebody a feeling of safety. The anchor of the family. Hmm. Okay, number three, a person who presents a live radio or television program and introduces reports by other people. This is an anchor, the people you see on the news station. So if you watch the news, that's a news anchor. They present on the radio or TV uh, news reports. That's an anchor. And now we're to, are you married? Is he married? No, he is not. Yeah, DHFH, talking about the news on TV. That is correct. Sometimes I think I would like to work as a tour guide. So in your opinion, which level of English is that person to be able to work at this type of job? You need a high level of English because tour guides often have to do immediate translations. So I think you have to be pretty high to be tour guide. Are you married? I am single. Okay. I am single. So that means no. Are you married? I am single. Are you married? I am single. You want to get married? <laughs> My stupid questions. Are you married? Are you married? I am single. Do you want to get married? Why not? Sure. I love to get married. <laughs> Anchor is a news reader. Yeah, the person on TV. My name is Doa. I will correct my name saying, okay. It would be, it, it, it's helpful if it matches WhatsApp. Do you want to get married? Do you want to get married? Question 10. Do you want to get married? Why not? Sure, I love to get married. Why not? Sure, I love to. Uh... 
What's wrong here? Why not? Sure. I, I'd or I would love to get married. Does he say I, I'd or I would? Let's listen. You want to get married? Why not? Sure. I love to get married. Why not? Sure. I love to. Okay. So he made a English mistake. So he should have said, I would, or I'd love to, but he just say, I love to get married. That's a mistake. Why not? Sure. I love to marry. Sure. I love to get married. I will. I will. Hmm. I'll keep this. Do you want to get married? Why not? Sure, I love to. Why not? Sure, I I should say I I'd love to, but it says I love to get married. It worries me that some people appear to believe that fixing a grammar mistake will increase the score in a speaking test. Uh, when the examiner is examining you, they're not just examining your English. You know, they're examining everything. How you present yourself. And when a mistake happens... How do you handle that? And if you don't understand the question, how do you handle that? So it's everything is important, how you are communicating. And is it natural or is it weird? Uh, so it's not, a, you know, David, a lot of people are looking, what if I do this? What if I do that? That's That's not how you should be approaching it. You should be approaching this as... I have to show this person I am comfortable with English. I know how to use English. I know how to communicate. I, I'm not nervous and I'm worried about losing points. Uh, if, if I make a mistake, I'm going to lose points. Uh, no. If I make a mistake and fix it, I'm going to lose points or gain points. No. It's all how you handle yourself. It's all how you handle yourself. And you do not need to be perfect during a speaking test at all. You do not need to be perfect. So you should just be focusing on improving your English to a high level. Okay, we're going to use number 10. No, we're going to use this number 10. He wants to get married. I hope he can find a good girl who matches with him. Teacher, our college and university is different. We choose a particular subject as honors in college and in university, we choose a major subject. Well, yeah, around the world, the word college and university is going to have slightly different meanings. Uh, college is technically it's going to change depending on the country but usually a college is a smaller university so usually colleges will offer two year programs and sometimes people go to college first and then they transfer to a university or you can just go to the university first a university is usually four year programs 
and master's degree and ph degree usually colleges don't have masters or ph programs they just have two-year programs but every country is going to be a little different uh, i met him once yeah really you go off you don't have to be here thanks for coming Uh, many of your questions, you know, 100 questions get the person who was interviewed embarrassed. Do you agree? Yeah, I hope so. I hope, you know, if I just ask boring questions, the video is not going to be popular. I got to ask some questions that get people's attention. Uh, but, Layla, every, every person agrees to the questions before I ask them. So they already know the questions. Uh, there are some questions Hassan told me not to ask him. So originally I had asked him, I had about four questions that he didn't like. So he said, Robin, I don't like these four questions. Can you change them? I said, no problem. Do you want to get married? Why not? Sure. I love to get married. Do you like kids? Do you like kids? Married. Do you like kids? A lot of kids. That's a little awkward. You like kids? A lot of kids. How often do you get a haircut? How often do you get a haircut? How often do you get a haircut is not my original question. How often do you get a haircut? Once a month. Excuse me. Once a month. That's a good answer. Excuse me. Oh, I got a lot of gas. This is, a, this is zero sugar, but 100 gas. Here's college is three years and university for two years. That's a long time to study. I think he likes kids. When he answers some of the questions, did you correct him? In, why? I'm not there to correct. I'm not teaching. These are not teaching videos. Kids. Oh, there's an extra period here. of kids. How often do you get a haircut? Once a month. Probably. Oh. He added that probably. Awkward. Once a month. Probably. Once a month. Probably. Probably. How often do you, do you shave? Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you the secret about this video. Don't tell anyone, but so question 12, how often do you get a haircut is not the original question. 
the original question is, what's your religion? So, and question 13, which is, how often do you shave? Is not the original question I asked him. The question I asked him here was how often do you go to the mosque? So I, I wanted to ask him, what's your religion and how often do you go to the mosque? But he said, Robin, don't ask me those questions. So I changed it to how often do you get a haircut? How often do you shave? He didn't, he didn't want me to ask about his religion. No problem. No problem. So I, I didn't ask about religion. I changed the questions. How often do you get a haircut? Once a month, How probably. Often. How often do you shave? Every day. Layla, how often do you shave? Doa, how often do you shave? <laughs> Every day. You shave. Every day. Every day. Every day. I shave every three days. What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Uh, that's a uh, boring. I, I don't like. I'm already tired of my hundred questions. What are your hobbies? He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. What are your hobbies? I love to go to cafe and read books. Do you consider him speaks English fluently? Yeah. 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 I'm glad that I'm here to know the secret. Well, there's a lot of secrets. Yes. Oh, was that yes, you shave every day? <laughs> it's hard to answer those questions. Yeah, it's very hard. None. No, none. Teacher, I'm confused about which subject should I need to choose in college as an honors course, history and political science. Could you give me some advice about that? I would not say history and political science for you, Pallavi. Do you have any other interests? I should have a big beard. Grow your beard, Layla. Shave. All right. Every day. Where are you shaving? Robert is giving away the blooper. These are not blooper. There's bloopers later. Uh... I like to film this in eight minutes, uh, but he made some mistakes later, so we had to cut. He ha he does have some bloopers we had to cut. To go to cafe and read books and watch YouTube. So Sam here would have had IELTS, at least IELTS 7, probably an IELTS 8, probably the IELTS 8.5. It's possible. Every day. What are your hobbies? I love to go to cafe. So he made a mistake here. He says, I love to go to cafe, but he should say, Phase with a plural, so he made a mistake. Cafe and read books. And watch YouTube. And watch YouTube. and read books and watch YouTube.
She cut my hair once on the year. What about hair here, Toa? Some people say if a woman shave, that might cause growth. I think that's just a myth. Shave means cut. Shave means cut the body hair. Not here. Everywhere else, we shave. Shave, shave. Everywhere else, you shave. But here, you cut. You can shave your head, but you would be bald and no hair. So cut the hair, but shave everywhere else you shave. And I don't understand anything about anything. And read books and watch YouTube. Where do you live? Mm, where do you live? Where do you live? 15. So you shave. What do you shave? Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in a district called Healing. District called Shilim. And I'm going to put a note here that that is in South Korea. Shilim, and how do we spell it? L L. It's actually he lives pretty close to my house. So where do you live? He says, I live in a district. And I got a spelling mistake here. Called Shilim. And that is South Korea. Where do you live? I live in a district called Shilin. Depends on the type of person. Some people need to shave all their body once a week. Some need more. Steve, uh, Steve Pan, Steve, how would I step in? Lubin, hello, welcome. Do you have any questions? Let me know. Any English questions or life questions? Robin, did you change those two questions? Or probably more than that. Every teacher, I got to change some questions. Who is this guy? This is a guy I asked 100 questions to from Iran, Hassan. I'm in my office now, so if you got any questions, let me know. You're visiting the teacher's office. Uh, teacher, I was watching this live stream since you last replied my comment about sorry message. Yeah. Please, I don't want to see it. Stop saying sorry. I do not want to have a conversation. Every time I have a conversation with you, Pallavi, you're saying sorry. It's really irritating at because it's months of sorry. Just study English, Pallavi. No drama. In which country do you live? Oh, okay. He says the country. The next question. I don't need to put Korea there. I 
Taylor, what's... In which country do you live? In which country do you live? Question 16, which country do you live? Which In which country do you live? Everyone repeat after me. In which country do you live? In which country do you live? I'm living in South Korea. There we go. I'm living in South Korea. I'm living in South Korea. Do you know, I don't remember his answers. Maybe I asked him later on. Hello, Lavanya. How to start English grammar, beginning to professional. Can you please tell me the main topic of the English grammar? Titan grammar, don't, I would say don't study grammar. Well, make sure you know your be verbs. Am, is, are. Know that grammar. Know basic past tense, basic future tense. And then start learning without studying grammar directly. So make sure you know present tense, especially be verb. I am, he is, all that. Simple past tense, I was, she was. Future tense, I will, he will. Make sure you know that, the basic grammar like that. And then don't study any more grammar. Just start reading. Oh, Layla, you do not have to send a super sticker. Thank you, Layla, but that's not necessary. Just study, Pallavi. Just ask English questions. You only need to ask English questions, Pallavi. Uh, Miriam says, hi, Ms. Robin. I am not a Ms. I am a Mr. Robin. So you would write M-R period. I answered your question. Make sure you know the <laughs> make sure you know the basics. Present tense, future tense, past tense, present simple, future simple, past simple tenses. Make sure you know that. And then start reading, reading books and listening. Don't study grammar books. Well, you say it's for my coffee. I thank you. Uh, but I don't know how much that is, actually. Uh, SAR 50? Saudi, what is it? Saudi Arabia. Ring it. Real. So this Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Real. Oh, that can't be real. Oh, that's a lot. Layla. Don't give me, is that, is that right? That's like, that's a little, no, Layla, that's too much, Layla. Oh, Layla. Don't, don't give me any money, Layla. 
There we go. Sorry, Mr. Robin. Yeah, you could just write Mr. like this. But you should put a capital letter on people's names. At Mr. Robin. But actually, you shouldn't say Mr. Robin. You should call me Robin or Mr. Shaw. You shouldn't say Mr. Robin. You should say, call me Robin. Or call me Mr. Shaw. I prefer just Robin. Could these two questions have the same meaning? Do you drink coffee very often? Do you drink coffee? Do you commonly, we would say, do you commonly drink coffee? Uh, you could say they would have the same meaning, but a native speaker would never say, do you drink coffee coffee commonly do you commonly drink coffee coffee a native speaker wouldn't say that but grammatically it could, it could work it means the same thing but we wouldn't say that it's just do you do you off do you drink coffee do you drink coffee very often or do you very do you yeah do you drink coffee very often or do you often drink coffee In which country do you live? I'm living in South Korea. Living in South Korea. How did you get a visa for Korea? How did you get a visa for Korea? Hmm. How did you get a visa for Korea? How did you get a visa? For Korea, very important question. How did you get a visa? In one video of, of you, you said shouldn't use a translation, but some words difficult for me. How do I know its meaning? Uh, you can use a dictionary to check a word. But highlighting entire paragraphs and translating, well, you're never going to learn English that way. And though, yes, yeah, sometimes we need to use translation. Yeah, sometimes we do need that. But the point is check a word with a dictionary. Don't never check the sentence unless it's an emergency situation. Uh, but the point is, uh, you have to get away from the translation program because people who rely on translation programs do not learn English at a very fast rate. And uh, I know I had a student that always used translation. They were so quick on the computer, highlight, copy, translate, experts. And their English did not improve for a year. And I said to that student, you got to stop that translation. It's not helping you. Because they would watch Netflix and the words come up. So they would stop Netflix, copy, and translate. And then keep going on Netflix. Oh, you never learn. You never, you'll never improve if you have a strong dependency on this to help you learn English. This will not help you learn English. Yeah, they can use a thousand different ways to say that, Layla. A thousand different. Oh, I'm exaggerating, but there's so many different ways. Good vibes. Sir, how to start speaking English because I have another mother tongue. Well, you joined the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, I just started the voice note group. People only sending voice notes. Hey, I'm helping. It's all free. If you don't, you know, I have so many free things. And then people still ask me, how can I learn English? I am giving you resources 
videos with homework, writing homework that I check, speaking opportunities, listening right now. There's so many things to help students for free. And still, how do I study English? So what they do is they spend years just jumping around channel to channel, asking the same question. How do I study English? How do I study English to whoever they talk to? Stop asking the question, uh, Titan Gamer. It's time for you to start today studying English. Step one, join the WhatsApp group. Step two, follow what I say in the WhatsApp group. Step three, join the voice note WhatsApp group. Step four, send voice notes. Step five, go to daily English homework. Do your homework every day. There's so many things to improve, Titan Gamer 03. Today is the day you get serious. I am leaving or living. Uh, I think you got a typo there. You should say living in Saudi Arabia. Leaving, you're you're going to go someplace else. Do you, do you, what's this? Uh, do you, how long has he been to Korea? Your question is not, do you, how long? Uh, you got to fix that question. Uh, do you follow a specific program or routine to learn Korean or was it all immersion? I do not study Korean anymore, but when I did, I went, uh, because I had to take, uh, a test for my visa to get resident visa. I had to take a test, uh, and I had about eight months. So what I did was immediately learned basic voca uh, vocabulary through flashcards. So uh, this is not a good example, I, uh, but this is the size of a flashcard. So like the English language, the Korean language has about 2,500 words you have to know. English too. That's all you need is about 2,500 words, and you could do about 95% of the conversation. Uh, you know, a lang you know, English might have 30, 40, 50,000 words. Basic English, there's only about 2,500 words. So I know that. I know you don't need to know 40,000 words. I know, oh, okay, there's 2,000 words I need to, to memorize. I put them on flashcards. I memorized them wherever I walked, walking outside. I memorized them. I memorized the words, spelled them out. Step one, step two, starting to speak. Every day I had to practice speaking these words in sentences. I didn't say, I didn't practice pronunciation of the word by itself. I always practiced the pronunciation of the word in a sentence. And then I just kept doing that and reading, reading every day, reading. And as I was reading, I would say the lines in Korean as I was reading. And I started with children's books, just reading children's books and saying the lines. Uh, then I passed the test. I passed the test and I stopped studying Korean. End of story. Do you see my writing in the WhatsApp group? I see most writing. Uh, Robin, the correct is you look, you look, no, 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 you look, no S, you look so happy today, you seem so happy today. Uh, that's the same meaning. You look so happy, you seem so happy. I answered that, Alex, thank you. Is it, is it fine if I write in my opinion? Yeah. In writing task two, yes, not task one. In task two, yes. The question will ask, some prompts will ask, discuss your opinion. It is okay. Of course, in academic writing, you always don't want to use I or me. When you go to university, you never use I or me. But for the IELTS, they will directly ask your opinion. When you see... Your opinion, that gives you the okay to express your opinion. You can say I, but still, do your best to not say I. But if you do say I, not a problem, David. is. 
Palavi. I don't even ask that, Palavi. Why? I don't care about your teachers, Palavi. I am worried about my what I have to teach to my students. You just focus on learning English. Palavi, please just ask English questions. Dictionaries. I use Oxford Dictionary online. You can get an app. Just check a word. I didn't, I didn't. Do you know how long has Hussein Hassam been to Great? I don't know. I th I might ask him later. The question is: Do you know how long has has you could just say, do you know how long Hassan has been to Korea? You could put the has after Hassan. Hello, Michel. I just changed of channel. All right. Uh, you got tired of searching free resources. You might have seen the meaning to what? Oh, you shouldn't have seen that meaning. What's your question? You might have seen that meaning. You shouldn't have seen that meaning. Both of those, what's the question? The, both of those are grammatically correct, but they mean different things. How long has, has how long has, has Hassam, his name is Hassam, been to Korea? How long has, okay, yeah, how long is, that's correct. That was correct. How did you get a visa for Korea? I, I came with student visa. Came, he should say, with a student visa but he didn't use the article ah did you get a visa for korea i came with student visa with student visa and now i have job seeking visa And now I have a job seeking visa. And he forgot the article, I have a job seeking visa. So he has an article issue. Next question. Is it hard to find work in Korea? Is it hard to find? Is it hard to find work in Korea? I feel confused to make this kind of question when I want to ask about the duration. I don't know how to ask those questions correctly. Ask me now. How long has or how long have? He, she, been to Korea. You should have seen this. Okay, what is the question, KWC? I want to help you out. You should have seen this. Are you asking the difference? You might have seen this or you and you should have seen this. I want to help KWC, but I'm not sure your question. Is it hard to find work in Korea? Well, it depends on your major. It depends on your major. And the needs of the society. So 
society. Eating. Is it hard to find work in Korea? Well, it depends on your major and the needs of the society. Mean opponent hasn't seen that yet, right? Uh, you should have seen this. Yeah, it means the person didn't see it yet. You should have seen it, but that person didn't see it. And the needs of the society. How much money can you make in Korea? Money question. That's going to make everyone interested. How much money can you make in Korea? How much money can you make in Korea? Probably $2,300 monthly, probably. Probably. He, he likes the word probably. $2,300 monthly. $2,300 monthly. Is that a lot of money? Probably. And the needs of the society. How much money can you make in Korea? Probably $2,300 monthly, probably. So $2,300 monthly. Do you want to come to Korea for that? How often do you go on live, by the way, teacher? I go on live two, three, three times a week. I use the idiom shed light on the last assignment. Is it acceptable type of... Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good one to use. Uh, but again, uh, you could use a word like highlighted. But if you shed light, that's fine. Are there many people who are waiting your lives? Waiting? Nobody's waiting. Or if there's watching, I don't know. I don't know. actually don't know how many people. Oh, I do know. On the daily English homework, there's five people watching. On the Learn English Live, there's eight people watching. On the daily English homework Facebook page, there are no people, no people watching. But uh, people come in and out. It's a, no one's no one's watching three and a half hours. Yeah, shed light's pretty good. Probably. How much do you spend a month to live on? How much do you spend a month to live on? Answer the question. How much do you spend a month to live on? Mm. I can say about $600. Okay. I can say about
How much do you spend a month to live on? Mm. I can say about six hundred dollars. Two thousand three hundred is a good amount of salary, I think. No, not for Korea, because uh, it's an expensive country, right? So, uh, yeah, it's possible, but not a, if for a single person. But you know, if he gets married, he's in big trouble. Yeah. I'm watching for 3.5 hours. But Salome, you're probably working too or doing something else. I can, I can say about $600. Or Salome is maybe interested in this guy. That's why. Are you a frugal person? Right. Are you a frugal person? Question 21. Are you a frugal person? Are you a frugal person? What? <laughs> this is the blooper. You didn't understand the word frugal. Uh, we had to cut. Are you a frugal person? What What does that mean? Stop. <laughs> cut. Are you a frugal person? What? Are you a frugal person? What, what does that mean? Stop. <laughs> uh, stop. Xander? Uh, frugal means you... <laughs> he's supposed to uh, he's supposed to check the questions he didn't check all the questions so he didn't understand frugal so we had to cut and I had to teach him frugal so that's a blooper that's called a blooper what? I'm going to watch that again are you a frugal person? What? What? Are you a frugal person? What What does that mean? Stop. <laughs> Are you a frugal person? What? <laughs> I should leave that in the 100 questions. Are you a frugal person? What? What? <laughs> I understand him because frugal is such a strange word. Frugal. And for some of you that don't know, what does that mean? It means you don't spend very much. Is this video on your channel? This video will be on Shaw English in about, I don't know when, maybe next week, maybe next month. How you got this news? How did you get this news? Oh, the same. Different grammar, different grammar forms can ask the same question. Uh, but how you got, how did you get this news? Well, that's the better question. How did you get this news? How you, how did you, how did you come by this? There's many ways to say that. Just say, how did you get this news? Could you share other idioms which are accepted at writing task? Uh, you know, on our on our IELTS channel, I'm gonna go to the IELTS channel here. Let's go to YouTube. IELTS Insider. This is our IELTS channel, and uh, I think James did do a idioms. Did James do idioms? He did phrasal verbs. Um, phrases. I don't think he did idioms, phrasal verbs. 
Uh, all I can say is subscribe to our IELTS channel, and we'll talk. And that's a good question for the the live stream over there. Uh, we'll talk about idioms in the future. We didn't do any idioms yet. That's interesting. So I'm sure James will do an idioms, maybe or me. I might do an idioms episode soon. We'll see how it goes. Frugal. Yeah, that's from my lesson. Yeah, we're testing our listening and typing. Yeah, you're improving many skills right now. No, I'm just playing the live stream because of you. Oh, Salome is my fan. Would you mind if I ask lots of questions? I mean, my, yeah, sure, KWC. That's why I'm here. You Welcome to my office. Ask the questions. I think you got him embarrassed and shocked. It's, I want to watch that again. It's funny to me. What? Are you a frugal person? What? <laughs> Are you a frugal person? What What does that mean? Stop. <laughs> uh, stop. Is that it? Stop uh, Frugal means... Right here, we had to start again. All right, can you say something, Hassan? How are you? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll start again. Here, I'm just going to start from qu a question. How much do you spend a month to live on? About six hundred dollars. Are you a frugal person? All right, here he is. After I taught him. Are you a frugal person? And watch his improvement. Are you a frugal? Let's close it a little closer. Okay. And we got to put some effect here. This is a dissolve effect. All right. Are you, Are you a frugal, frugal person? Yes, I am. Uh, the problem is, is his head goes up too much. It's a big change. Hmm. Are you a frugal person? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. There we go. That's the answer we need. Are you a frugal person? Yes, I am. All right, we got it. Uh, not not yet, Tika. What about give a hand? David, I wouldn't worry about the these uh, these so David, your focus your focus is wrong. You're focused on the wrong stuff. You're focused on what you should be saying. You should just be focused on improving your general English, improving your speaking. Learning no, no, new vocabulary, how to use those new, new, uh, new vocabulary, and being comfortable and confident when you speak. When you go into the IELTS, you just say whatever you say naturally. If you use give a hand very often, you use it naturally, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares. They're, they're not going to care. Of course, uh, you you want to highlight or showcase your vocabulary, and give a hand is showcasing you know you know that expression. Just use it correctly. If you use give a hand incorrectly, big problem. <laughs> so if you're going to say give a hand, that's great. 
uh, but be sure you use it correctly and naturally. Do your Korean students, oh, well, Palavi, I like this question. Uh, you would say, do your Korean students, so do they, not does they, do your Korean students follow your YouTube channel? No. I, I never tell my Korean students about my YouTube channel. And also Koreans do not learn English in English. Koreans prefer to learn English in Korean. You should make a video of all bloopers. I do have a lot of bloopers, uh, but it's embarrassing, especially uh, Fanny, the teacher, Fanny. Esther never makes a blooper. Esther is always never makes a blooper. Fanny has a lot of bloopers. She says a lot. Usually when people make bloopers, they say bad words. <laughs> So I cannot show too many bloopers. Are you a frugal person? Yes, I am. When I'm making the here's a here's information. So when I'm making the uh, when I'm making daily English homework, like I make mistakes. So sometimes. I'm making a video recording for daily English homework. And sometimes it's a five minute video and I make a mistake and I have to start again. So when I make a mistake, yeah, I, I'm going to say bad words. I'm going to that because I'm talking and teaching five minutes and then I make a big mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake on, you know, I did the, the one hour videos. So I was teaching, I think, on, the preposition on, in about 20 minutes, teaching 20 minutes. I made a big mistake. I had to stop that video, film it again. Uh, the longest live stream, let's take a look. The longest live stream would have been on Learn English Live. It would have been... Um, live uh, there would have been some really long ones this was two hours 40 oh this is seven hours <laughs> seven hours That's probably the long. I'm not doing seven hours today, but seven hours. That is the long one. Seven hours. Three hours, 16. So I beat this one. One year ago, three hours, 16. Uh, one hour, one hour, one hour. Oh, Chad. A lot of live streams. Jeez. So many live streams, Layla. Whole lifetime here. Where was the... There was one more really big one. Where is it? The baby... Where's the baby picture one? Oh, this one, the baby picture one. I don't know, you guys can't see, but so this this one was four hours. This one was six hours. Uh, so four hours, six hours, but the biggest one was seven hours. This was two hours. Where is it? Seven hours.
Hey, let's let's see who was there. Let's see who was there at the seven hours live stream. Look at that monkey. And I was editing uh, Fanny stuff. Look at that monkey. Who is here? Madi, Alex, all different people. There's Layla. There's Michelle. There's Dewey. Teacher's very different. Hey, for Anna. Oh, look at that hairy, hairy bear. Alyssa was there. Seven hours. Win. Jonathan, Farida, she's gone. Marianne, jeez. Tika, Tika was there. Layla, 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 which one do you prefer, girls or boys? Andre was there. Oh, Andre. That was a long time ago. Seven hours. We're not doing seven hours. All right. See you, Tika. Yeah. Tries to keep his money. Peter Dow, hey, if you got any questions, let me know. Awesome. Mike's English Lab. Hello, Mike. Come to say hello. Now Mike has come to steal attention away from me because uh, Mike gets a, gets very jealous if people are focused on me and not him. Seven hours, you were there. Seven hours is too long. How about three hours, 40 minutes? Is that too long? If you make 100 questions video about you, I believe it'll become viral. No, Pallavi. Uh, nobody is interest, interested in me outside of WhatsApp. So, yeah, you might watch it, Pallavi. And, of course, WhatsApp members might watch it. But most people in the world do not know who I am. Have you ever rewatched any of your live streams again? Never. Never. You are so pretty or pretty. Mike has a lot of fans already. Yeah. Mike he's he's too charming. He's a threat. Is life difficult for you in Korea? Is life difficult for you in Korea? Oh, come on. Yes, I am. Is life difficult for you in Korea? Only two. Life difficult for you in Korea. Is life is life difficult for you in Korea? It is not. It's enjoyable. It is not. It is enjoyable.
Is life difficult for you in Korea? It is not. It's enjoyable. Right. He didn't say it is enjoyable. He said it's enjoyable. Yes, I am. Is life difficult for you in Korea? It is not. It's enjoyable. So first sentence, it is not. Second sentence, he made the contraction. It's enjoyable. I'll end this stream when I get to 25. Are Koreans friendly to you? Don't be don't beat yourself up. We beat up is the what you want to say. Don't beat yourself up, Robin. There are a lot of people who love you and respect you. Yeah, I I I know, but when we get to viral, uh, strangers don't love me and respect me. Who said you're not? I am not famous, Palavi. I am not famous. Are Koreans friendly to you? Are Koreans friendly to you? I'm asking questions. That can get him in trouble. Koreans friendly to you. Are Koreans friendly to you? They are. They are so friendly to foreigners. How and often? He, do and he them? gave the safe answer. Friendly to you? They are. They are so friendly to foreigners. I love his voice. They are. They are so friendly to foreigners foreigners they are are koreans friendly to you they are they are so friendly to foreigners Hey, Feng Chi is back. Hello. Uh, May Feng Chi, I guess I should mention that on the screen is a, a video that I'm editing. So it's open up as an editing program where I have to cut and add some text. Whatever the question is, I have to add the text. You're the leader of all your channels, yeah. All right, I'm curious of building long sentences by using conjunctions, clauses, et cetera. Do you have videos on that already? Correct me if I've made. Yeah, go to daily English homework. YouTube daily English homework. Let's see what it looks like. I've never looked at my channel on the front side. That's what it looks like. All right. So you go here, hit videos, and the key videos to watch for you are this one, basic editing. You watch this one. And then... I think I do another editing video. Basic editing right there. You watch that one. Those two videos will help you with writing and conjunctions. Then you do write a paragraph. Then you, you just watch these videos, write a paragraph, right? You do the homework every day and you will improve. KWC. That's the way. Do the homework. What's the thing that you enjoy the most recently? Chatting on WhatsApp, editing, or walking, or something else? Uh, walking. Robin, I'll watch your 100 English questions 100 times. 
Well, bad news. The studio flooded, so it might be a few months before I can do my questions. Yes, don't beat yourself up. Yep. To the King Robin. Yes. TJ May said, what kind of bad stews you don't like? I made a video on that, Palavi. I already made that video. You go watch that video. You already did the homework. All right. Am. Is life difficult for you in Korea? It is not. It's enjoyable. Are Koreans friendly to you? They are. They are so friendly to foreigners. He said the safe, very safe answer. How often do you call your mom? How often do you call your mom? That's, a, that's an easy question. How often do you call your question 24 how often do you call your mom every day every day he's a good he's a good son he's a good boy i guess iran men are good sons how often do you call your mom every day good good son Do you send your parents money every month? No, I cannot. Oh, he's a bad son. Do you send your parents money every month? Do you send your parents money every month? Right? That That's what a, a good son is, isn't it? You send your parents money every month? Do you send your parents money every month? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Bad son. Just kidding. Don't. Uh, over here, this is what I'm looking at. I got to keep track of question and answer, question and answer. I got to, I have to write it all down on this page I, because I have to make the transcript. When you upload it to video, you also have to add the subtitles. So I got to be able to. Do you send your parents money every month? No, I cannot. 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 How many siblings do you have? I How many siblings do you have? How many oh, this is question 26. How many siblings do you have? How many siblings do you have? I have one older brother. I have one elder brother. I have one elder brother. Okay. I have one elder, elder brother. Sounds good. Yeah, so there's a lot of questions. I'll try to catch up here. Do you like Americans? Akusua, yeah, sure. I work with a lot of Americans. In our WhatsApp group, there's three Americans. Uh, Mike, Jack, Kevin. I'm the only person not American. Uh, what if I'm assigned a task that contains multiple charts, such as pie charts? How should I organize the body paragraph? I talk all about that on the IELTS Insider. Uh, I, I should keep this channel open. David. 
they're not going to talk about it. You're going to, uh, well, you're going to write about it. Task one writing. They're not going to ask you charts for speaking. So in the writing, you want to watch my task. I give you homework. You can watch that video tonight and do the homework. Any video, there's homework. Task one, homework. Watch it, do the homework. I'll check your homework. Task one, watch the video, do the homework. I'll, I'll check your homework. That's a good deal, David. IELTS Insider. What's the difference between sounds natural and correct grammar? Well, well, you know, KWC, because sometimes when uh, native speakers are speaking, uh, they use wrong grammar. And wrong grammar can sound natural. I don't have an example right now. I do. It's. If I said there's there's many people. There's many people in the room. There's many people in the room is a sentence every native speaker is going to say. Well, not every, but uh, most. Every teacher on my channel, I caught them breaking this rule. Even Esther. There's many people in the room, which is grammatically wrong. You cannot say there is. You would say there are many. You would say there are many people in the room. But people say there is many people in the room, and they use a contraction. There, there's many people in the room. Every teacher makes that problem, but it sounds natural, sounds fine. Uh, but you want to focus on writing. I would say focus on the correct grammar, and for speaking, you focus on sounds natural. Would you ever hire an Indian teacher for your le uh, lesson? Yeah, I'll hire anyone. I. Yeah, I will hire anyone, any teacher. Maybe, well, he, he doesn't have a job, Layla. He said that. I have no job. Eunice, hello. Oh, you don't have Visa or MasterCard? Why are you selling me? I think this live stream is going for almost four hours. It's been going for three hours, 54 minutes. May I ask about some of the things that are, yeah, you can ask anything. My best teacher and everyone should go now. See you. Take care. Yeah, you talk to me more than your family. I talk to you, probably Layla, than, more than any other human. All right, I think I'm going to go over to daily English homework and check, start checking some of that homework. Wait, I got to turn off. I'll be right back. Two minute break. Break time.
Did you miss me? All right, so what I need to do now, uh, I, I got to do the IELTS Insider first because we're going to release a new video on IELTS Insider. This video. All right. This is a new video. This is the script. This is the subtitles I prepared. Copy that. I got to go to subtitles. I got to put in the subtitles. Publish. Edit. All right. Hello. My name is Tom. All right. Publish. This is a exciting new uh, video on IELTS Insider speaking test part one that I am going to release at 10 o'clock. I'm going to release 10 p.m. I'll release this video on IELTS Insider. I'm not going to release it now. So I had to prepare that. I'm going to jump over to daily English homework. See what's happening there. Content, comments. We got all these homeworks. So I guess I'll check some homework of people who are in in the group right now. I'll check your homework. Who wants me to check their homework right now? Are you monetized for this channel? No, I'm not. I am not monetized. Teacher, do you still have a whiteboard behind you? No, the whiteboard I used to have is gone. It is destroyed in the flood. Definitely miss. Yes, we miss. Anna Marie is still here. Don't you have a job? I mean, what are the things that have been discussed here? I uh, just may. Uh, there's so many. There's, you know, four hours of topics. Uh, just people ask questions about, you know, little things about English. Nothing, nothing that important. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? All right. Okay, I got to... I got to get the link to this live stream. Every live stream has a link. Okay, I'll copy that. This is now. And I will go to comments and I'll go to the group. I'll say checking homework now. And I'll post it. Post it. All right. Now I'm going to check the homework. Who wants their homework checked? Please, how do answer on chat question? I think, what do you mean? What's your question, Akusoa? I, I don't understand your question. Will be a homework with that lesson on IELTS channel you release? No, no. It's a speaking topic. Uh, Plavi, I'm not checking your homework. 
as you instructed me many times, here's the spam. I got to clear out the spam. I guess we'll start with uh, who who wants me to start? Palavi, I'm not checking your homework. Anna Maria, let's check her euphemisms. Her guesses. So this is four hours, two minutes. Checked it. Four hours, two minutes. Anna Maria and 40, 30. Uh, you said she has a bun in the oven. She, oh, shut up. She has a bun in the oven. She has a secret. Uh, that's wrong, but this is, this is fun to me because I'd like to see. No. So she has a bun in the oven means she's pregnant. So kind of a secret. Maybe she has a bun in the oven. She's pregnant. She lost her lunch. Lunch. She has uh, a chance. No. <laughs> she lost her lunch means she threw up. Ugh. So she ate lunch and then it came out. So so whenever you eat food and then throw up, we, throw up is kind of a dirty word. So we say she lost her lunch. Uh, good answer, though. He stretches the str truth. He changes things to make truth sound different. Yeah, in a way. Uh, but yeah, we would say he exaggerates. He exaggerates. So I, I'll give it to you. Good one. And he got kicked in his privates. What he was doing was revealed. Uh, no. No. <laughs> That, that's wrong. Uh, privates. Uh, on men and women, we have private areas of our body. Men private areas are different than women private areas. So men have an area. Uh, I, I can't show you because I'll go to jail but we all have private parts of our body that we do not show to people unless we love them. So he got kicked in his privates would be very painful to men. I don't know about women, but I, I'm a man. I know if I'm kicked in my privates, it is very painful. So we don't say the other words because uh, I can't say them, uh, but only men have this. And if you kick men in this private area, they will hurt. So we can't say that word. So we use the word privates as a euphemism. So good answers. I like, I like what you're thinking, but those are the answers. All right. And May says, I got 10 points on the it's, it's test great that was in oh you you got the it has contraction salome says she got 10 out of 10 awesome good for you no mistake fix it there Art. okay these are the daily homework i'm going to do those in a moment and i'm going to check So how many watch hours do you need to be monetized? Uh, four hours. Vunsumna. Did you do homework? Vunsumna. I see Sarah Wasi's here. Jainanan, if you're here, let me know. Clear, I don't know those are euphemisms. They're common euphemisms. I'll put the answers later. Please, I want to know how you need to start answering a chat question. You just if you just ask a question, Akusoa, I will answer the question. Just type it. 
I will answer it. Okay, so uh, Neki is here. Let's see what Neki wrote. Okay, I got to refresh this page and find Neki's. There's Layla. There's Salome. We'll get to them. Neki, 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 Neki. So at 407.16. So we'll copy that. Oh, you're going to talk about the, t t describe the picture. Let's take a look. Uh, 407.17. Talking about, all right. Hi, Robin. In this picture, this is my joy, seeing what you guys said about the picture. If you don't know, this was the picture, uh, this girl, uh, and uh, to help out uh, May, there was just a girl standing, uh, I guess, looking sad. She's crying with her hand up. That's it. And the people had to describe the picture. So in this picture, I see the gorgeous girl with beautiful crying face and perfect makeup. You focused on the makeup, and you described the makeup as perfect. His head, okay, this is a critical error. Her head, all right, her head is covered with a black scarf. Uh, her head is not, her head is covered. No, you'd say her head is surrounded. Covered would be blocking the face. So... Maybe surrounded is a better word. Or, and not her head. Actually, her neck would be better to say. Her neck is surrounded by a black scarf. I think she accompanied her boyfriend to army. At the nighttime, she is staying in the station waves her hand and crying they're both they both love each other very much it's very it's it's a very difficult time for both of them to live far from each other for two years this is a korean story too she can't imagine it how shall we she have spent time that day without her boyfriend okay there you go Good, good. I like it. A love story is always the best story. She cannot be with a boyfriend. He has to go to army two years. Hey, everyone, that's a great story. Yes, I miss Robin's lessons. A lot of homework is waiting to be done. That's a good opportunity, Eunice. You go back, watch those videos, do the homework. It's important to know these. It is important to know euphemisms. Because uh, if you listen to Jack and Kevin when they're talking to May, uh, Jack and Kevin are so nice. So in the podcast, if you haven't listened, May here... Uh, she did the podcast with Jack and Kevin. And uh, May, May is blind. May Fong Chi, sorry if, uh, if you're blind. I, I tell everyone because uh, just so that it helps them communicate with you. And Jack, Jack and Kevin interviewed May. And they spent, they didn't ask if you were blind or they didn't talk about your blindness until about five minutes into the interview. And they couldn't say the word blind. So they they thought blind will upset you. So they used euphemism, uh, visually impaired. So if you go listen to Jack and uh, Kevin's podcast, interview of May, great interview. Notice that they continually use the euphemism visually impaired, visually impaired, because they didn't want to say blind. But later, May said blind. So that was a really good example of how Jack and Kevin were trying to use a euphemism to be polite. And if you don't know visually impaired, you're not going to understand. 
and May is asking about the Box 13. The Box 13 audio is from an old, old uh, radio program from the 1940s. Each language and culture, yes, that is correct. Pallavi, I'm not going to check your homework because in the comments, multiple times, you told me, don't check your homework. You screamed at me. You wrote capital letters. You emphasized, don't you check your homework. I am never going to check your homework. Her hair, we would say the neck. The, per, the, the, the scarf is not intended to be around the hair. The scarf is intended to be around the neck. And the, your doa, right? So let's check. Let's check. Oh, here you do. Uh, D H F A D U F H. Let's check it. Let's check your story about the woman in the sad woman. Let's take a look. You said, and this is checked at four uh, four thirteen. So let's fix this time in case you ever want to come back. Four thirteen. Paste it on my digital whiteboard. All right. This picture talks about the pain. The girl's name is Nor from a small village which is dominated by customs and traditions that fight the love and leave it baffled between broken hearts. Mm. One night, the villagers threatened the two lovers to kill if they continued with their relationship. Ooh, another love story. Nora said, all right, Nor said, let's use quotation marks here. I will stay with you, fight, and sacrifice for you. End of quotation. But he ran away and left her alone with her tears. What a bad guy. She said, space here. In the quotation, we need a capital letter. Goodbye. Let's put a comma there. My lover. So. When you're addressing someone, we usually have a comma right there. Goodbye, my lover. There's a good story. All right. Quotation marks here. We, she said we should use a comma there. Nora said, comma, space, quotation, capital letter. What she said, comma, quotation, continue. Nor said, okay, here... It's not a dialogue. If you were doing a dialogue, you would write that's those sentences. So you should just say, she says, it's not a dialogue. Dialogue would be name, sentence, name, sentence. All right, good one. Another good one. I enjoy this this one. D-H-F, D-U-F-H, do I? Good for you. Good for you. I like that one too. This is This is my favorite homework so far. I like to I like to read creative stories. I just I like seeing you use uh, to you know your imagination and using paragraphs and using great English to create a story. All right, let's look at Salome here, which is at fourteen four fifteen thirty five. Check out Salome's story. Of course, she must write about love. I hope so. It seems like it was yesterday when I got an email from the tech company in Australia that my job application was approved. Okay, let's put email, small e. I'll never forget that moment when I was extremely happy. Oh, she's not talking about love. She's talking about a job. Ah, disappointment. I'll never forget that moment when I was extremely happy. It wasn't easy for me to leave my family, especially at this time. But that was my dream job, and I wanted a different life that I couldn't get by being in Iran. Now I'm at, let's put a comma here, because I time expression, I love a comma. Now I'm at Iman Kum. Khomeini International Airport. This is part of the airport name, capital letter, capital letter. That's the full name. 
tears fall from my eyes while saying goodbye to my family. I, I'll really miss them. Yeah, I, I know you got it from first. Por she says, Robin, I wrote the story from first person point of view. First person point of view is she is the woman in the picture. So she is using I. Great. I love it. Well, I wish it was a love story, story but still, Salome, good job. I'm very proud of anyone who did this homework. Really, these are this is taking your writing and your English just to a great level, just to an awesome level. Good for you, double heart. All right, who else? Uh, who else is here? Layla, all right, see you, David. Couldn't put period, yeah, you can, depends on how you structure the sentence. Her sentence is struck. Let's go back. Her sentence has the quotations in the middle of the sentence. So she has to have comma, comma. But of course, if it's the end of a sentence, if we don't have this part, whoops, if we don't have this, if we don't have anything after, well, here, like there's nothing after, we just put a period. but. In her sentence, the quotation is in the middle of the sentence. All right, who else is here? Uh, I guess we'll do Layla. Salome says, next time I'll write about love. Uh, Salome, please only write about love. <laughs> That's when the passion comes out. But I guess, Salome, if your passion is... A job at leaving uh, leaving Iran again. I understand. I understand. Keep writing about that. Uh, Layla, euphemisms. Let's check out Layla on euphemisms here. Let's put it on the digital whiteboard. And the time I'm checking this is 4.19.20. So let's put 4.19.20 seconds. This is the right link, right? Right link. Yeah, this is the right link. All right, thank you. I usually delete that right away. All right, I think I heard the first one. I okay? Yeah, I, I probably taught that before. All right, these are my guessings of the euphemisms. She has a bun in the oven. She's going to have a baby. You are correct. She lost her lunch. She breaks up with her boyfriend or husband. <laughs> no, but I like that answer. She did lose her lunch. So again, she lost her lunch means she threw up. Ugh. So we don't want to say she threw up. Sounds kind of dirty. So we use the euphemism. She lost her lunch. He stretches the truth. He figured out that his wife, girlfriend betrays him by making another relationship with another man. So that's a love affair. I like where you're, what you're thinking. Very dramatic, but no. He stretches, stretch. The truth means he exaggerates. He exaggerates. So good guess, but wrong. He got kicked in his privates. He needs to poo or pee. No, again, you're kicking the man in his very sensitive area. So... I can't even say the word on YouTube, so I have to keep using euphemisms and hope you understand. He got kicked in the uh, central area of his body. It's another euphemism. There you go. Check. And we have Salome's euphemisms that here and this is at 42136 we'll make a note 42136 okay she is pregnant correct uh, Salome knows about pregnancy 
She is broke. No, he is a liar. No, his secret was uncovered. Uh, no. Uh, I was familiar with some of the euphemisms in the video. However, these euphemisms uh, for homework were totally new for me. Well, that's good. So again, you got number one right. She's pregnant. But uh, the other one's uh, wrong. And notice how I'm saying it, euphemisms. It's a very difficult word to say. Everyone, repeat after me now. You, euphemisms. Layla's telling her story. Let's get to her story. Layla. This is at 422.52, 422.52. Tima was a gorgeous, friendly, and quiet girl who lived with her family in a small village. And I would not put comma Iran. I'm going to put in Iran. Why are you talking about Iran? Why not Saudi Arabia? That cannot be a woman from Saudi Arabia. It looks like a woman from Iran. She, she was attracted to her parents and two younger, younger brothers. Can see, oh, you're, you're using this too much. All right, so big problem. Attracted means love, like romantic love. He is attracted to her means there's some romantic romance. So when you say she was attracted to her parents and two younger brothers considerably, this is not good. She romantically loves her family. So a critical error here, attracted. We need a new word. Layla, give me a new word. She was a senior at university. Her level at university was excellent and advanced. One day, an, earth, an earthquake happened in that village, which destroyed all the buildings and made them ground level. At that moment, let's put a comma here. All her family members were at the house except her. Her family, became, uh, her family were under the rubble. Good expression. As soon as she came back home, found everything was demolished. As soon as she came back home, she found everything was demolished. That's correct. The scene of the rubble made her collapse. Good. She stayed lonely without her family. Therefore, comma, moved to another city. Oh, you got a whole book. <laughs> Therefore, moved to another city looking for a job to live on. This photo was taken up for here one year ago, but the sadness still appeared on her lovely face. She couldn't get over her such pain. We're gonna get over, get rid of such. We don't need that. She couldn't get over her pain. Everything is great except this word is a is a mistake. I want to say she she loves him so. She lived with her family. She love. If you want to say love, say love. She loved her parents and two year. Not was. She loved her parents and two younger brothers. That's what you want to say. Just use love. She loved them. There's no better word than love. There we go. Check. Thank you, Layla, for that story. Another love story, but. For her family who died in the rubble. It's a tragedy. Why do you kill people in your story, Layla? All right. Who else is here? Anyone else? Uh, we're sleepwalker today. So we have... Hmm... Julio, Jainan, Jainan, Navid, Navid, are you still here? Take 
Stock, Saraswathi, Sleepwalker, Gui. So, ooh, I don't even, what language is that? Can you see that language? I don't even know. Manor, Bella, Lavanya. Are you here still, Lavanya? She's probably gone. Saraswathi, Navid again, Christian, Mykola, Sleepwalker, Mernawati, Shanita, Luke, Anna Maria here. We'll check Anna Maria's right now. Let's write it. She did it first. All right. This is checked at 42736. 42736. This picture shows us an Indian girl called Priyanka. She is in the train station and she is saying goodbye to the love of her life. He had an he had an awesome chance to study in Canada and they decided it would be the best for him to go there. It would be best, it would, you don't, you don't need the, it would be best for him to go there. They are feeling sad and bad because, oh, these are too simple. You could use bigger words. They are feeling sad and bad because things change a lot in five years, but they hope they can be together after that. Pre, I guess is her nickname, is studying hard to go is studying hard to go also to Canada. She, Pre is, I'm going to move this also. I want also close to the beginning. In fact, I'm going to put it right at the beginning. Also, Pre is studying hard to go to Canada, and maybe in a few years they can be together. They are trying to be positive, but the sadness in her face is clear. Future, you want to use the future. The future will tell us about them. All right, there you go. Another love story. So you got bonus points. Good for you. Anna Maria. It's actually her story, but she made up the fake name Priyanka and she moved it to India. That's actually her story. All right, so... May says, I, I just make a guess on euphemisms. May, do you, do you have euphemisms? I don't see any homework from you, May, on euphemisms. No, there's no homework for me on um, euphemisms, May. Did you do the? Oh, oh, you just put it there three minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> well, May, if you're listening, I already told the answers. You cheated. My guess, she has a bun in the oven. She's pregnant. That's correct. She lost her lunch. Lost her lunch. She lost her most valuable thing. Uh, yeah, she threw up. She stretches the truth. He's explaining about the exact. No, he is exaggerating. He got kicked in his privates. Now he got kicked in the middle area of his body, in the sensitive area. So we don't say the sensitive area. So we use the euphemism private, private area on humans. Every human, man or woman, has a private area. All right, so it's 10 and 1. I am going to release. I have to go over to the IELTS Insider to release the new video. I'm just going to check.
unlisted public done save there we go that video was just released on ielts insider so i'm going to put it in the whatsapp group speaking test one Yeah, may everyone uh, guest on the euphemisms. It was just for fun. And I'm going to actually put that on the Facebook page too. Facebook. I hate Facebook. Oh, Lee released something. Pages. Uh, May, do you use Facebook? Let's go to IELTS Insider. And we are going to create post. And post. Not now. All right, post. And let's put it on the daily English homework Facebook. Post. And let's put it on the Shaw English. Shaw English. Uh, I don't like Facebook. Shaw English. Great post. 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 All right. And I'll put it on uh, Instagram later. Oh, I should do an Instagram live with uh, Mike. Otto. And he just sent me a message. All right. All right. I had to do all that uh, housework. Let's go back to daily English homework. Comments. All right. We got some questions here. Don't you feel hungry, Robin? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I might go for, I'll go for a walk after this and eat maybe. Yeah, I got to do a lot of things every day, Layla. You cannot imagine. Yes, I use Facebook. Okay, May uses Facebook. Please stop. <laughs> Nobody, nobody use Facebook. I don't like Facebook. Uh, no, I, yeah, I'm going to go on Instagram Live with Mike. 
Instagram Live. So, uh, maybe at 10 third or in about uh, 20 minutes, I'll go on Instagram Live. So, I'm going to finish up this uh, homework. If nobody, these people are not here, let's do a quick check. Lavania, you're not here. Navid. All right, we'll check Palavi. If Palavi's here right now, Palavi, here's your chance. Palavi, if you say you're here, then I will know you are a super student. Oh, she left earlier. Uh, I didn't see that. No, okay, Palavi. Yeah, I will. I'll finish up the live stream in a minute. Any last uh, questions, comments? Let me know. Layla, <laughs> you're here a long time. Sally May, are you still here? Everyone who's watching, say goodbye. Everyone, even the secret people watching. Maybe my enemies or ex-girlfriends. Even if you're watching, say goodbye. Thank you, Robin, for today's live stream that motivated me to do my homework as soon as possible. Eunice, it's a great opportunity. Eunice, you got to imagine. Imagine doing homework every day. Now, imagine doing homework every day for two years. Imagine doing homework every day for three years. You're going to, like... My students are improving every week. I can see the improvement, especially with the what happened. Oh, I'm so impressed. People creating these good stories. Uh, great. Oh, Salome is here. All right, let's take a count. Uh, Plavi, are you here? Oh, if Plavi's here, then I'll check it. We're not going anywhere until we check Palavi's because she's she says here, Plavi, do I have permission to check your homework? Say yes. Do Palavi, do I have permission to check your homework? Yes or no? There might be a delay. Yes, sir. All right. Here we go. Palavi. There we go. Euphemism. She she guessed. Let's take a look at Palavi's guesses of the euphemisms. So I'm going to check this is 440.20. 440.20. She has a butt in the oven. She's endangered. Nice guess. Because the oven could be dangerous, but now she's pregnant. She's going to have a baby. She lost her lunch. Yeah. Now, again, she threw up. She threw up. He stretches the truth. He tries to hide the truth in a way, but uh, he's not lying, but he's kind of exaggerating. He's changing the truth. He exaggerates. He got kicked in the privates. No, he's broke. He got kicked in the pee pee. <laughs> nice guesses, Palavi. I'm I'm happy that you guessed. There we go. Palavi, did you do a, a story? Let's see, Palavi. Did you do the story, Palavi? I don't see it. Is it too hard for you, Palavi? Take stock. I don't see it, Palavi. Okay, well, can't help you there. Do it another time. All right, goodbye, everyone. Talk to you in the future.